Haim, you've you've done something. I've done something. For the good of the show. We should point out that Let's not forget that. Someone laughed at us the other day. We do you and I have a joint account. We do. <laughs> we do. And, and um I and mean you, we might not after this. You tend to jump into it a little more than I do. Mm-hmm. Um, and you certainly ask for permission a lot less than I do, because I ask every time. Well, I, I I made a calculated decision here, like anyone with a joint account, any married couple, and I calculated decision to go, well, this will be a fun surprise for Andy, not just when he sees it okay. come up on the credit card Let's statement. Let's just have a brief walk through the history of fun surprises. The last one, you bought a Bitcoin for the show. That's right. For a thousand dollars, one come coin on, for a thousand dollars, about nine hundred. And, then, then you bought, and it's on its way back, isn't bought, it? Bitcoin, it's bought, about four hundred, isn't it? Jack? You bought one for the show and one <laughs> for us. You bought then you won. You said, and I also that not even real, for the show purposes. Real... I bought you one, Andy, for just us as well to have because it's going to be great for a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars at the time. There was a at lot the moment, of it's worth chat seven hundred and sixty dollars for both of them. A lot of chat online yeah. about how Bitcoin was just about to go through the roof. Now I'm no finance guru, nor am I. <laughs> As it turns out, no, but Bitcoin's a, a good solid investment. That's a significant loss. It's a sixty-five. Any digital loss. currencies of the future? Sure, it took a uh, yeah, it took a sixty-five percent haircut. But yeah. it's <laughs> certainly growing its hair back. <laughs> I mean, one day, it's going to come back. That was probably the last drastic dip into the finances I had then, and then some tightening was done by you. Yeah, and I, I found really a loop. tightened down. I realized if I just use my credit card. Mm. There's a way that I could protect you from because I, I you'll be so happy with the, the spendings okay. I've made here, but but it's it's some it's some amount of money has been spent. In fact, qu- quite a bit of it. Okay, well, can I just go back through a brief history as well? Mm-hmm. Well, the other, the last thing that I can remember as well before this is even since the Bitcoin. Yep, you bought a large antenna <laughs> for the People's Island. That's right. So you could ring people from it. Yep, and the antenna went what five or six meters high. It was huge. It was huge. Didn't work. And it cost a fortune. It was thousands of dollars. Worth a shot, though, wasn't it? <laughs> we went to the island. We went out to a, twice. our very own small island off Rockhampton. I mean, if you're listening to the show, yeah. you, you do own this island. It's the People's Island. We yeah. did this last year on the radio. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, no, the antenna didn't work. But, and uh, I've bounced back from those mishaps. Okay. Third time's a charm. Yeah. I've spent quite a sum of money, of what? our money. How much? Oh, we can talk about it later once you're excited about what I've bought. Okay. We can talk about it later, darling. <laughs> yeah. I, I will tell you a dollar value of my excitement after okay. you tell me the idea. Um, I've bought an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> it's Hamish's year of a thousand pranks. <laughs> well, I knew you had it. <laughs> I we, think for a second I got no, you. No, <laughs> because we've discussed buying elephants before. <laughs> I've got you. Maybe, no, you didn't. No, <laughs> anyway, hang on. Look, just, just that's another prank down for my year of a thousand. <laughs> no, <laughs> I can't no. miss an opportunity. Okay, it's not even half. Ando. What's the most important? We're now officially launched as of yesterday. Mm-hmm. The Hamish Annie shows out there. We're a fledgling radio show. We're only two days officially old, yep. right? For 2015, we're brand new. Yeah. How many radio shows are out there? A hundred? Lots of different radio yeah. shows. How, oh, how do you get your name out there? And I'm talking, and I know I'm the smarter of us, <laughs> and I'm more business savvy, <laughs> and I'm trying to give you an education. Yeah. In a business sense, how do you get your name out there? Yeah. Well, you market. Merch. No, okay. It's it's one option, yeah. It's the smart option well, no, if you're a smart businessman. Merchandise is really reserved for people <laughs> that have a name out there, and hence people buy merch. That's the old thinking. The new thinking is yeah. get merch first, yeah. and that's a great way to get your name out there. So, so like, on our break, Ando, yeah. I was able to locate a factory in China <laughs> that pr- that makes many, many items of merchandise, and for a very good price, I feel, I was able to buy... Using our money, a bunch of merch. Not making this up. Here's what we now have. It arrived today in the office. Yep. Okay. Some has, some, it, it's, it's a bit big. I'm storing it off site. Hang on. Is this, is this a long list of things? Because we've uh, got to go to a song. Should we wait for after the song? Uh, yeah, it's a pretty long list. Oh, it's after but, No, this Ando, get the, it, you haven't even heard the best bit. Have you bought all of them? Are there options? No, no. Is there a cooling off period? Absolutely not. The guys at the factory were very clear about that. <laughs> Sam, you have got your hands into the company money again. (laughs) You and I do have a joint account. And thank you. It's a trust. Really having a joint account, as anyone knows, is it's all about trust. Mm. And a fun part of trust is surprises. Or abuse, I thought. (laughs) (laughs) Because you trust trust each other to surprise you. Fun part about trust is abusing that trust. (laughs) That's what you're finding fun. No, this is a surprise. Company surprise. I named two things that were grand failures, the last purchases that you made out of the joint account. But 
I've bounced back. Okay, well, I hope so. Because in our break, I was sitting there just going, right, you know, we've just, we're have just we a new radio show. You've just got to get out there, you know. Yep. I know we've been on radio before, but it's a new ball game, Andy. Absolutely. Well, how do you get out there? How do you, t- how do you show the world that you're taking this seriously? Mm-hmm. Billboards and TV ads are very, that's fine, but it's a bit 80s. You know? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's been around for a long time. Yep. Yep. What's new? What's now? What's hip? <laughs> Merch. No, merch has been around for a long time as well. <laughs> Merchandise. Merchandise. is a very powerful way to get your Certainly name out in, there in the and in front of people in cool products that people want, branded cool products. Yep. That is why I contacted several warehouses in China and at several factories because China's the home of merch. They'll make you anything yep, out of it. Like, good. Some of it's very, very expensive though, like eskies with radios and stuff yep. in them. That's what I was initially looking at. Forget yep. about it. It's like 50 bucks an esky. Really? We can't get out. We not could get our name out there to like five people. Yeah. <laughs> not, not happening. So I've, I, I've, I've, I've probably moved for down, lower down the cost per unit scale. I was really looking around the bottom of the barrel okay. for these Chinese merchandise companies. Just tell us what it is. Well, it's several things, several batches of things. Okay. Several pallets of things. No, 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 no. <laughs> Where are we going to put this stuff? You always, half your stuff that you buy personally for yourself, which are bad purchases. You're are getting out. angry and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, right, I'm gonna to hose you down okay. with some good news. <laughs> okay. <laughs> put out that ang- angry fire. Sure. Ties. Neckties. No. Hamish and Andy branded neckties. Neck- They're black and white because colour's more expensive. I need to give to visiting dignitaries. We've had Hillary Clinton on the radio show before. What if she comes out again? We'll give her a tie. How often do you <laughs> we tell her to wear it when she gets elected president? <laughs> Can you imagine the publicity? <laughs> she had there in a bright blue She's pants suit with a heavy shirt tie on. Doesn't have to wear it around her neck, around her head as a bracelet. No, there for She's dignitaries. Not doing it, okay, I only got fifty of those. How, we've only ever had Hillary Clinton on. Yep. And Jack spoke to Prince William briefly, but not yeah. quick enough to get him a tie. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we've had, we had, didn't we have Tony Abbott on last year? No, he had, uh, Kevin Rudd on. Kevin Rudd. Yeah. <laughs> Memorable. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was great. He would love to tie. Yeah. Um, we got about 50 of those. So there's a, that is rare. How much per unit? Don't worry about that. No, and, uh, how much per unit? Uh oh, what's this? Yep. Custom vehicle car air freshener. Okay. I don't know what the scent is, but again, black and white, quite basic. Better, better type of merch, I reckon. 500 of those. <laughs> because, but what I like about them is people do listen to the radio. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, not often. But this oh, is good. You'll like this one. Okay. Slight bevel six-inch plastic ruler. No. A, you know what a bevel is? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I you are saying no because you don't quite understand the quality of the ruler. So six inches, that's only 15 centimetres. But if people are writing down, you know. No uh, one uses r- rules. Radio, radio shows <laughs> to listen to today. Yeah. And, they wanna, and they're making a grid up. Yep. And they're using our ruler. Yep. A bevel <laughs> Sort one. of gets... They okay. look down at their slight bevel six-inch ruler and they're like, oh, yeah, how much are you? Sort of gets it in their head. <sighs> the cool ones are steel rulers, man. Oh, very expensive. I know. And hence, you've gone for a cheaper option. I've got 500 one. of those. we 500 six-inch rulers. Yeah, okay. Um, here's a fun thing. Hang on. How many left? A couple. <laughs> two? Uh, yep. Uh, okay. two, two categories. Yep. Um, what, what does everyone love? Water slides. What's it like a little water slide in a packet? A Straw? moist towelette. <laughs> <laughs> Tough sell. Longbow. So we've got 5,000 moist towelettes. What? Like KFC size? Yep, 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 yep. Okay. I don't know why that. People can win them or we can send them out as exciting <laughs> prizes. <laughs> Look, mate, you're acting like I can't do all the work. I'm the one on the phone to China every second day over the past month. Yeah, okay. Here's, and then, um, so I got to your 5,000 of those. Uh, 5,000 <laughs> soft. I think we should give that in one giveaway. <laughs> no, 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 no. You've they're won people, 5, they're rare. You're acting like that's a lot. They will go through like 5,000 in. Sure. KFC probably does 2 million a year. Yeah. And uh, and then just yeah, soft facial two ply napkins, which are the cheapest version. It's, you know, it's not like I went out and blew all that money on three ply napkins. How much does the total cost? Uh, it, that doesn't matter. It does. Just so you know, we have fifty thousand napkins. What? We have fifty thousand Hamish and Annie napkins. We would never have. We won't even have <laughs> enough people listening for one napkin per person. They can have ten each. How much? How much did it cost it all up? Some thousands. Send back the napkins. No. Yeah. No way. They're the best bit. No, they're not. 50, why, <laughs> why you can... You, Spills. Facial, you have to get rid dirt. of one. Facial you have to dirt. get rid of one of them. No way. Yes. Absolutely not. 
All right, here's what. He, all right, here's what we'll do with the napkins. I've got an idea. I've I've come up with an idea. Sure. To get this show out there, mm. if people ring up to be a napkin ninja, yep. right? We will give you a starter pack yeah. of a hundred napkins, <laughs> and you have to go to fast food outlets and steal their napkins and replace them with ours, like that. And that gets the name out there. And then if you can like take photos of that and stuff and tweet it, you win prizes such yeah. as moist towelettes, car <laughs> <laughs> with more napkins. Look for some napkin ninjas. No, seriously, after dude. This. Thirteen ten sixty. Let's see. Thirteen ten sixty. If you want to be a napkin ninja. Yeah. Give us a buzz, but also there'll be a way to enter online and yeah. you get your starter pack. Yeah. And then if you prove to be a successful napkin ninja, you know, the sky's the limit. You could get 200, 300 napkins <laughs> to deposit. And then you could be winning, I mean, so ideally, a moist platinum level, you'd get a tie. But you'd have to probably <laughs> distribute about a 1,000 napkins <laughs> to get a tie. Or be a dignitary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or be Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Exciting scenes in the Hamish Andy studios, yeah. know, aren't there? People rushing to the phones, answering calls. Yep. My purchase has set the office alight. Well, I'm coming to terms with it. You have bought, amongst other things, 50,000 Hamish Nanny napkins. Only two ply. You're acting like I splashed out on four ply. <laughs> you are you're suggesting that we need merchandise to try and get the show name out there because um, it is a new show. It's Not a bad strategy. Officially is it? launched yesterday. Um, I don't mind the strategy, to be honest. I'm quite excited about the strategy. It's so exciting to have all this merch. Wait do you see? Because I've seen the photos. Now, it's only black and white because yep. color printing was extra. But, I mean, and they're not great quality. But. Yep. It's so exciting to have show merchandise. So let's, we've let's, got ties. Yep. Which I think is probably a big waste because no one's going to wear it. Well, a tie. don't. I mean, don't get your hopes up because you have to really qualify to get handed a tie. Yeah. Um, we've got air fresheners, mm. 500. Moist towelettes, yeah. 5,000. Slight bevel, six inch ruler. <laughs> that, that's the bad. That's the worst one. Sorry, there's the dumb. <laughs> that's the good that yeah, exactly. one. So you get 500 of those. If, if you ever win the ruler, <laughs> no, consider you're yourself that and you the haven't... enemy of the show. We should send. <laughs> you haven't seen the angle of the bevel. Okay. And I don't think you really I'll, understand I'll reserve what a bevel judgment, is. But I feel like we're going to be sending, <laughs> sending rulers to people we don't actually ruled a like. few lines with them and they are <laughs> arrow straight. <laughs> <laughs> the quality. You would, you would hope. You, you, you would hope the rule is The quality straight. on this rule is blows anyway, you away. You feel asked, like you've drawn a line with a laser. We've got 50,000 napkins as well. We've asked for people to be napkin ninjas. Good idea, right? So yep. it, here's the idea. You call up or go to hamishnanny.com and go to the contact form yep. there and, and tell us you want to be a napkin ninja. We send you a starter kit of 100 napkins. Yep. You go to any place where they have normal paper napkins, like any fast yeah. food or whatever. Or even, would you accept... Fish and chip shot, anything. What about at Bunnings or something like yeah, that? I suppose. Where, where any, sausage, sausage sizzle, yeah. yeah. Snatch their napkins, right, and put ours down. Yeah. This is a sort of a stealth marketing campaign. Don't get caught. Don't it's, get caught because you're a ninja, remember. Yeah. Um, and hopefully there you've got two ply as well, so it's like for like. Um, <laughs> Phil, Phil the Fox, Phil, you've, you, you want to be a napkin ninja? I certainly do. Great. Um, 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 what, what, uh, what do you think you can bring to the table as a napkin ninja? Um, I'm actually prepared to take you guys international. I'm uh, leaving in two weeks for three months, just me in a van with three friends around America. Yep. Um, be doing all the different crazy fast foods over there. Five guys, burger and fries, yep. In-N-Out Burger, give White Castle. Oh, give, really good venues. Give, give him five times the dosage, champ. Do you know what, Philly? I'm going to give you three starter packs. Okay, I thought it was going to um, five. But each, each bundle will have 100 napkins in it, so yep. one for you and one for each of your mates. Oh, fantastic. Great. Well, All we might, need is uh, some photographic evidence yeah. of you and your trip, uh, and then uh, you then you're going to qualify for your next pack, mm. and then the, the prizes could start coming in. You could get an air <laughs> fresh, you could get a slight bevel ruler. Well, uh, afterwards, I am heading on to Canada as well to actually live and work for up to two years. All right. Let's okay. not get ahead of ourselves, but if you do carry <laughs> Phil, your Nepal Ninja you... mission successfully, you could have a ruler. All right. Uh, any chance I can grab a tie as your first international uh, representative? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's calm down, Phil. The ties are for ones you've probably done about two and a half thousand napkins. You're so you're at, the, you're at the start of the ladder, and I love your ambition, yeah. and I've got you earmarked for a tie, but that's certainly not a promise for a tie. Courtney, talk us through it. You want to be a napkin ninja? Uh, yeah, I'd love to. Oh, yeah, great. Well done. Welcome to the team, Court. What do you reckon you can? How do you reckon you can get out the napkins? Well, I'm a uni student and I'm only going to uni eight hours a week this trimester, so I'm pretty much available 24-7. To Just be based on job. time. Yeah, great. Availability, Court, yeah. I'm going to send you 100 napkins as a starter pack oh, and <laughs> as a goodwill gesture, I'm sending you a free six-inch bevel Hamish and Eddie ruler because you're a student <laughs> okay. and that's a useful tool to have at university. <laughs> Courtney, <laughs> Do you just, already have a six-inch When ruler? I just said before that they're reserved for enemies, I don't. No, no. I wasn't including you in that bunch yeah. when okay. Hamish giving you one. Court, um, do, sorry, do you have a six-inch ruler already? 
No, I don't. Great. Yeah, no don't buy one tonight. I have every other size, but I don't have a stick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't yes, buy one tonight because one's on its way. <laughs> Jacob, wrap this up for us. You want to be a napkin ninja getting out there. Yeah, handy guys, handy. I'm, I'm near a really trendy strip of cafes in Richmond in Melbourne, and yep. I, I think I can I think I think can really get the word out there. Lots of people are Instagramming their food, and um, we can get right. the napkin out there on the Instagram. Yes. Mm. That'll, that's, that's, that's I'm going to send you three packs, Jacob, if you've got a strip <laughs> to do. <laughs> yeah, that's Thanks, a lot boys. of... I may, need, I may need to look professional, though, so I may need a tie with me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like I said, I love your enthusiasm. I love your ambition. Yeah, look, it's your first day as a ninja. Hey, Jacob, uh, would you agree that the beveled ruler is the dunce of the gifts? What was that, sorry? Would you agree that the beveled ruler is the dunce of the gifts? Uh, look, I, I think the tie is definitely better. I'm going to be politically correct here and just say I think the tie is better. Yeah, You've got yourself smelled, the ruler. You haven't spelt the effort. <laughs> no, the, look, rule is, the rule is very useful. Jacob, I mean, I, I feel like I'm actually giving away prizes too easily here. You do have to earn them, but I'm going to give you three packs as a napkin ninja. Yeah, um, yeah I will give you the ruler in case you need to make a small grid of the cafes <laughs> you need to go to. And rule. Have you used a ruler before then? <laughs> I've, I've used the ruler back in um, grade six. Yeah, you'll love so it. It's good. You'll, 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 you'll it's like getting on a bike. You'll have a lot of fun. You'll be able it. to use it. And, and good luck with backing <laughs> up your small grid. It's Hamish and Andy driving you. <laughs> Everyone's loving the ruler. Haim, yesterday on the show you revealed you'd made uh, another purchase from the joint account. Yep. Now, off the back of a history of bad purchasing decisions, mm-hmm. not running them by me. Oh, well, you can't run a surprise by a best friend. We then don't use the group money for surprises. It's like buying yourself a suit. But it's also, it's a funny family of surprises though, isn't it? Because it's a surprise that you know your mate's going to love. <laughs> so you're definitely allowed to use the joint account. <laughs> but this would be ripping him off from the fun. Yeah. Okay. I, would, I actually view it well, as, to be honest, I, I would view it as more, th- I've stolen your enjoyment mm. would be a bigger crime than stealing your money for me. <laughs> and that's just how I view it. Yeah. I'm not sure if the cops would have the same. No, I, think, I think the law would probably look at it as stealing money. But, but from a friend, I think yeah. stealing enjoyment is unforgivable. Stealing money, <laughs> ah, what are you going to do? People laugh that we do have a joint account. Um, Hamish laughs at me sometimes when he tells me what he's bought from it. Um, in the past, it's been some bad purchases. Actually, I think you've made some good ones yesterday. Thank I'm, you. Well, I'm, mostly it's for things like lunches and stuff. And, you know, we yeah. just, you know, we, we were together so often, it just makes sense for us to yeah. have this account. Now, but occasionally you'll buy a Bitcoin at an overly inflated rate. But that's a nest egg, Ando. That's a we'll... terrible purchase. But yesterday you decided to buy show merchandise without running it by me. Well, yeah, I mean, this a is a lot this... of Hamish and Eddie branded things. This has been about a month in the making. Mm. Uh, I've been dealing with a couple of different factories in China getting quotes and stuff. Because it'll be fun. Mm. In, now that we're, like, we're back on radio for 2015. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just. <laughs> The level of research you never put in, I reckon you've gone to the first factory. How dare you? I talked to the, I did talk to the second guys. And when did they talk? I mean, <laughs> a few emails. I don't think the first factory existed. <laughs> but the second guys had exactly what I wanted. Okay, sure. Um, and that was the exciting part, And We've got five items. Now, we've got the necktie, yep. the two-ply facial napkins, yep. uh, moist towelette packets, um, the, uh, the air freshener. And the beveled ruler. Slight bevel, hmm. six-inch plastic ruler. Yeah. Now the dunce, the dunce no, of the group. We've already had. We had a lot of interest on yesterday's show. People going, "Oh yeah, I would like a ruler. I do grids. No, no, I, do. No, no, no. <laughs> I like to no, underline things." No one neatly. at all <laughs> expressed interest in the ruler. The tie, on the other hand, now, seems to have been the prized possession. Well, just to catch people up, if they didn't hear yesterday's show, unfortunately, there are minimum quantities you have to get from China. Anyone in import export would know this. You yeah. can't just get one tie or one napkin. Yeah. So I got minimum quantities of everything. 50. I was able to get 50 of the tie. That yep. was the minimum. They've Five, arrived, haven't they? 500 air freshers. I've got one for you in a sec. Okay. Uh, 500 six-inch um, slight bevel plastic ruler. <laughs> 5,000 moist towelette packets. Yep. And, uh, of course, 50,000 <laughs> napkins. It was very, very low unit cost on the napkins. Yeah. yeah it's a um, lot, though. About a cent. It's a lot. A napkin. But the value is much higher than a cent. So the, 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 they're not... I know that you think, but because I got this in bulk and I did it online and I didn't really, you know, fact check that they're not great quality. Oh, can I just show you? <laughs> I know that. Can I show you, mate, yep. one of yep. our Hamish and Andy exclusive black business ties? Gee, you can see Hillary Clinton in that, can't you? I mean, that was our idea yesterday. Do we give it to visiting dignitaries? <laughs> Here's, can I p- pitch you an idea? I'm just going to, I mean, yeah, this, I don't want to turn into the TV shopping network, but feel the quality. Look at the quality. <laughs> How can you feel the quality? It's plastic wrap. I can't open it. I mean, open it up, but don't inhale it because it's straight out of the factory. Uh, it's embroidered, Ando. It's great. Tell the people at home. <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> when I first came, got my hands on the Hamish Nanny necktie, yep. I was suspicious, yep. but having used it now for a matter of seconds, I'm Same very quality. impressed. And yeah. it is embroidered, isn't it? The logo's the the yep. the logo's embroidered. Mm. A lot of people would just print that on. That's an embroidered. T- <laughs> okay, mate. We don't need to try and convince people that this is a good idea. Here's my thought. Convince yourself the thing in your is, own time. There's only 50 of these ties. So yeah. very, very rarely, I would assume, will they ever be given away. Dignitaries. Dignitaries, visiting dignitaries. Listeners of the show that perform Outstanding Acts. Yeah. Sure. We'll always look at that. Ando, what if you, me, and Jack, mm. we, we take the first three... <laughs> And every time we have a guest on the show, yeah. we wear a nice shirt and a tie. <laughs> <laughs> to to interview on the phone. Has, same. same Rule, like rules a, are rules. So, yeah, yeah, so sure. we can keep like a chambray shirt in yeah. here each yeah. uh, in the cupboard. <laughs> yeah. And it, I just think it would be nice to have a team uniform because we're a bit older now and yeah. you know, we're a bit more mature mm. and it just presents a professional front. Well, I think we've got Amy Schumer and Bill Hader on the show next week. Would that, is that the kind of thing we'd kick off with there? Yes, and we should offer them ties, but if they... No, if, no, no. If they turn their nose up, they're not, not dignified enough. I don't think so. I feel like Why don't we make it if, if, a, if a guest begs for one, we can evaluate it. Yeah, exactly. Evaluate. It's not, it won't just be an offer. Yeah, exactly. We'll give them a slight bevel six-inch rule because yeah. they've got a... I imagine <laughs> yeah. they have a hectic publicity schedule. They have to be making up tables and grids <laughs> and be using a ruler. Hey, let's get back to the napkins. So the so Hamish Nanny branded 50,000 napkins. Mm-hmm. Yesterday, you had an idea to start up a, a, a group of people called Napkin Ninjas. It's gone bananas overnight. Mm-hmm. This thing's exploded to the point where you almost need a fresh towelette. Well, maybe we need to go to a song, <laughs> gather our thoughts. So many people, HamishNanny.com, if you do want to become a Napkin Ninja, so many people applying to be someone that gets sent 100 napkins mm. that they then secretly take to anywhere that has napkins, yep. steal the company's napkins, like if it's a restaurant or a server or whatever, and put our napkins in place to spread I the word. I had a couple of people ask me questions about on the street yesterday that I need to run by you Yeah, well. great. It's so after this. We'll do with the napkin ninjas now. And uh, through uh, circumstances to that, that have caused us both great delight, mm. we now found ourselves um, in possession of 50,000 Hamish and Andy branded napkins. Yeah. To really spearhead the awareness campaign yep. for uh, getting back on the show. It's a concept called merchandising. Mm. It's fairly new. It's untested. <laughs> but uh, we're a progressive show and we want to give it a crack. So, um, The idea of Napkin Ninjas came up yesterday. If you're out there and you want to be a Napkin Ninja, you get sent to start a pack of 100. And uh, then the, the, the idea is you go into any store that has a napkin. Yep. Uh, or napkin dispenser, you take out their napkins, you replace them with ours, and that's how we get the word out there. You obviously do it quietly. Yep. Backflip is optional. Yep. Hence ninjaing. Yeah, you don't exactly. want to get caught. Here's a, take here, a photo for us. Here's a question for you. I yep. got contacted uh, by a, a pub that I go to. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was just walking past it, and the guide ran out, and uh, he said, hey, we'd love to have the napkins in the pub. Sure. Didn't feel ninjury enough to me. No, no, it's like asking to be hit in the face with a nunchuck, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. You don't ask for a ninja attack. One just happens to you, yeah. and then before you know what's going on, they're gone. So what's the policy on that then? So well, he... I'll, get you to, I'll get you to say to his face, no way, yep. and then just get you to sneak in can to I, knife. Can I have a Snyder pack? Of course you can. Thank you. Uh, well, I mean, I mean, I'm the napkin sensei, so yes, I deem you. I'll just check my inventory. Yeah. Yes, I still have some left. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they haven't even arrived yet, though. We should point out. But I mean, I when have a sheet. Think, when do you think they will arrive? I, I thought they were at customs yesterday, yeah. so I was expecting them to be in the building today. Yep. Uh, they're not. It, mm. There's a lot. Uh, we can't fit them in the office. Yeah. I mean, we'll, it's, it's, we'll, I'm sorting out warehousing as we speak. They'll certainly sure. be here in 24 hours. So right. by the end of this week, people should be getting their starter packs now. Yeah. Ando. HamishNanny.com, if you want to be a napkin ninja, mm. and I should just point out too, you perform your duty well. Mm. You're obviously looking at a world of perks past the napkins. You're yeah. looking at a potential six-inch slight bevel ruler. Yeah. If you <laughs> want to make up some grids for your weekend of like clubs to go out to, <laughs> if you yeah. like doing A lot grids. of kids do that. Yeah. Uh, you're looking at maybe a moist... Towel it. Yep. Refresh your towel. After you get off the dance floor. Yeah. You could be looking at Hamish and Andy branded air freshness. Some of the other merch we got sent in. Yeah. So Um, obviously not a tie, mm -hmm. but some great stuff you Mm. could be looking at. As the sensei, I've been filtering through everyone's applications today. Um, We've had hundreds of people. Yeah, it's been great. I've been on the phone uh, informing people in in an excited manner that they have been selected to be ninjas, (laughs) Ando. I'd like you to hear some voices, some real voices of some of the napkin ninjas the sensei was able to contact today. Hello? Hello, is this Ash? Yes, it is. Ash, it's the napkin sensei. Oh, my 
my god. Hello, Sensei. Hello, Ash. I received Hi. your application to become a napkin ninja. Yes. Good news, Ash. You've passed the test. Oh, really? <laughs> I mean, yeah, just applying was the test, so well done. But my boss just told me that I should be working, but the mm. napkin ninja thing is way more important, so it's, a thing. Okay. it's It's a real. It's a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Ash, tell no one we've spoken and keep an eye out for the letterbox as your napkins will arrive soon. I will. Arigato. Arigato. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Hello. Ah, Kenichi, what's up, Chris? It's the napkin sensei. <laughs> How are you going? Good, my ninja son. How are you? Good, thank you. I received your... Sacred scroll requesting acceptance into the Brotherhood of the Napkin Ninjas. <laughs> yeah. Good news, young boy. You have been selected. Say thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. I swear to defeat and steal all enemy napkins, Sensei. I swear to defeat and steal all enemy napkins, Sensei. I approve your pledge. I no, no, that's just me saying that to oh, you. Whatever. <laughs> Hello. Ah, young Abby, how are you? Who's this? It's the napkin sensei. <laughs> the person you ad admire and worship above all others. Yes, that is very true. <laughs> I'm calling you from my sacred napkin temple, as you can hear as I play Absolutely. Auth authentic music in the background. Keep your eyes out for your first starter pack of 100 napkins. Oh, I'll be waiting at my mailbox. Yes, I must go. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye, Sensei. <laughs> what a special treat for some people today. Not often you get called by a <laughs> mystical deity, and I'm surprised they all knew exactly cotton on straight away. It's great. I'd love you to go a wrong number or one. <laughs> <laughs> like, Sensei. Hello? Uh, Hamish from the radio. AM? I have sensated the wrong number. <laughs> if you want to apply, no. <laughs> hamishnanny.com. The details are all there. The sensei welcomes your application. Yeah. We can never have too many. No, we can, actually. Yeah, we can. <laughs> we, we have 50,000 to get through, though, but, so you wouldn't think we could get too many. <laughs> Hamish and Andy. Hey, and uh, speaking of um, important news, mm. dinner is one aspect of important news. Another important news, a uh, bit of news, is an update on our merch. Yes. Uh, as uh, people have they... been listening to the show the last couple of days, you'd be aware that um, a surprise, exciting purchase was made with the mice by myself mm. uh, with our shared money yes. and our, from our shared account. A lot of merchandise coming from China. Um, some bits have hit. The ties are already here, but the real focus, the jewel in the crown of the merchandise is the 50,000 napkins. That was the minimum order from the merchandise company. Yep. I thought the 50,000 would... Uh, be in our office today. I thought they'd yep. be here at the studio. You kept saying that. I did but... make some promises. Um, I know we've got a lot of people standing by as our napkin ninjas yeah. because when we get our hands on the napkins, we're sending out starter packs of 100 to everyone. The idea is you go to a restaurant or somewhere that has napkins and mm. do the switcheroo. Yeah. Put our napkins in for yeah, theirs. Just get and the word out. Just yeah. get the word out. It's called merchandising. It's a brand new concept. And I uh, just got an email. We got word from customs. Yeah. Uh, the napkins have been slightly held up. Why? They're in the country. Why have they been seized? Why would it? They haven't been seized. They just be, they're in a queue to be inspected. Because <laughs> I think they come from maybe not the most trustworthy yeah, okay, part sure. of China. <laughs> and um, yeah, Customs just want, wants to run the eye So to all napkin ninjas out there waiting for your starter pack. Hold. <laughs> hold. I think the napkins will get to us by next Monday. You said that this... Napkin um, sensei... Is not here, so he can't answer your questions. <laughs> <laughs> but don't make me go and get him, Ando. Stick around, everyone. Because he's a mysterious character that won't appreciate your snooping. We, okay. Trust me. Okay. On Monday, we start sending out the napkins, napkins to the napkin ninjas. You've got the tie. Yep. You love the tie. I love the tie. We've only got 50 of those. Napkins Monday, which is probably Thursday, everyone. No, Monday, guys. <laughs> the air fresheners are in. Stick around, everyone. Straight after this, we'll wrap you know up what? the show. You know Cade before that, that, yeah. that made a dedication yeah. to his uh, lemon tree? Yeah. I'm going to send him an air freshener. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Even more underwhelming as I just thought of it now and probably should have told him in the moment, but he's going to get a surprise. <laughs> Isn't that great? The merch bringing joy to everyone. Uh, coming up, a very successful uh, bit of interaction there the power of the people and uh, crowdsourcing. Um, Jackie, beautiful listener, incredible. Managed to name that tune that was stuck in my head. Yep. 
the uh, the hook of a Peking Duck song. Even and though you couldn't sing the tune that was stuck in was the synthesizer. A human voice cannot do it. Mm. I'm not the dude from Police Academy. <laughs> um, here's the... Uh, Here's, here's the exciting bit, though. Jackie just walked away, if you heard, with a great little treasure trove yep. of um, prizes. She got a Hamish Nanny branded air freshener. Yep. She got a slight bevel six-inch ruler. ruler. Why did she get... And, and ten napkins. Ten napkins. Yeah. Uh, and will you send out the napkins today? Here's the problem, Ando. The <laughs> ruler... Just get them in the post straight away? No problem. The um, it sounds like a problem, because I don't think we have them. The ruler... No, we've got the ruler. We've got the no, slight bevel the ruler. the napkins. Can we get them out to her today? I can't get you the napkins today, Jackie, and this is, this is what I needed to talk about. I, if you're just new to the show, I recently did a great thing for the show and I spent some of the team's money hmm. on buying a lot of merchandise for the show. Hmm. We have 500 slight bevel six inch rulers, yep. uh, 500 air fresheners, 50 ties, yep. 5,000 top of the range tops. moist towelette refreshers, yep. and uh, 50,000 napkins. Hmm. Now, put the client on the show to go with 50,000 napkins, that's more than we can you and I consume. The whole point is it's merch, it gets the name out there. Yep. It's a new concept in marketing where you write your name on things on items. that have a use and you give it away mm. to <laughs> expose your name to others. Mm. It might work, it might not. We wanted to hire a bunch of, or enlist a bunch of napkin ninjas. The mm. idea being, you become a napkin ninja, we send you out 100 napkins, no. you go to... Uh, was it more than 100? I think it was 100 was the starter pack. Right. You go out to any old restaurant or takeaway store or whatever that has napkins, yeah, my steal theirs, replace them with ours, yep. the name gets out there. We literally have had hundreds of registrations to be napkin ninjas. Mm -hmm. If you register to be a napkin ninja, um, we're so grateful. I, the napkin sensei, thank you so much. Mm. And so does Andy, mm. my napkin grasshopper. Yeah. He, we're, we're trying our best to get around to people, keep the, <laughs> keep the vibe up because the napkins were seized by customs. Yep. They're not releasing them. One of our pet hates is red tape. Yep. And unfortunately, that's what we're trapped in at the moment. Then customs Thick released them. Tape. And the Border Protection Society got, like, re-seized them. Yeah. It all, like, long story short, I don't know if it was us, I don't know if it was the Chinese factory got the merch from, someone wrote the wrong value on the box, mm. really, really low-balled the value, and our customs has smelt a rat, yep. um, and they're, they're, they're holding them till we pay the extra GST. That's totally fine, yep. and I'm happy to do it. What that means is the napkins were meant to be here today. And they now cost more? Yes, yes, yes. Some hundreds of dollars more. And we're just, there's another delay. Probably very early next week we'll have them. So the Napkin Sensei had to make a lot of calls today to the Napkin Ninjas. Again, just to keep the vibe up amongst the ninjas. Mm. Hello? Winona. Yeah? It's the Napkin Sensei. Oh, hi. 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 Hi, which is Japanese for yes. And yes, you have been selected as a napkin ninja. Hi. And also, just going to say, I know you probably thought your napkins would be with you by now, but the first test of being a napkin ninja is patience. Yes, sensei. I have enjoyed your patience. And I will continue to enjoy it possibly till as late as next Tuesday when finally I think the <laughs> napkins will be released and you will receive yours in South Australia. No worries. Napkin Sensei loves you. Love you too, Napkin Sensei. Keep it professional. Okay, bye. <laughs> Hello? Is this Red? Yes. This is the Napkin Sensei. Hello? It's the goal you've waited your whole life for. It is. Since you waited your whole life for this call, you probably won't mind waiting till possibly as late as next Tuesday for your napkins. Of course. I've been waiting my whole life. I can wait another week. I like your style, Rhett. I think we're both doing a sensational job. <laughs> now stand back as I do a backflip away. Red, I've gone. I've vanished, Red. Okay. Hello? Chris. How are you? It's the Napkin Sensei. What's going on? Yeah, not a lot. Just making a whole bunch of calls because i got a got a customs issue I'm dealing with. A little bit of a hiccup <laughs> with bringing the napkins in. I was wondering where my napkins were. Yeah, chill, man. You're a ninja. You're meant to practice extreme patience. Don't you worry. I've been practicing. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's just the... <laughs>
Customs had them and then they released them, but then Border Processing got them and found oh. out that we'd lied on the form about how much the napkins were worth. And so now we have <laughs> got hit with another 400 ninja dollars. We must pay. <laughs> I know you've been waiting by the letterbox now for over a week. I have. Maintain your vigil. Take no food, <laughs> nor water, nor sleep, and watch that box. Thank you, Senpai. Chris, do you have an <laughs> hour or so to chat? An hour? I don't. I'm a very busy Sensei. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Haim, you have, with the joint account, a lot of people find that funny that you and I do have a joint account. Yep. Normally we went to ask each other when we use it, but... I think our relationship's at the stage where <laughs> it's a bit... It's almost insulting if we ask each other, isn't it? Well... It, it implies no trust. Yeah, well, well, that's, <laughs> I suppose when trust has been misplaced over the years, <laughs> sometimes uh, you do. And what's the best way to build trust? Yeah. Through a series of exciting surprises <laughs> <laughs> with the other person. Well, that's what Hamish did. He went, but to be honest, I love this purchase. It's the first of your purchases I've loved. And the trust is rebuilt. Um, you bought f- a lot of money's worth of <laughs> 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 of merchandise. Yes, and I, I must wouldn't say, say when, they, when the Chinese merchandise factory told me the monies it cost, yeah. I did did say to myself, that is a, a lot, lot of, of monies. monies. But and it's worth it, Anna, because I found it... A and also, when you, I mean, the quality of them is is, is questionable in parts. Mm-hmm. But uh, you, amongst um, many other things, uh, including uh, the, the Hamish and Andy branded ties, which I do like. I think the ties are exquisite. We have 50 ties um, and they're embroidered. You wouldn't think um, embroidered. You'd think printed. Uh, a 13 um, centimetre um, embeveled beveled ruler. No, is six it? inch. Six inch, okay. Six inch slight six. bevel ruler. Yeah. Don't get too carried away on the, <laughs> the angle of the bevel. How many? What's this here? 500 of those we have. What's inches to centimetres? Is that close to You're pretty centimeters? close. I think it's about 15. Um, <laughs> but it's a six inch bevel ruler. Yeah. That's the worst. That's the dunce We've of the merchant. We've gone a lot of... You had to do minimum mm. orders. It wasn't like I just picked these numbers and out you, of the thin air. You got 50,000 napkin sets. Let's not We've forget 5,000 of these. We've got yeah, refresher towelettes. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly <laughs> moist refresher towelettes. Uh, I have an open one. That? that was a great catch. Okay. <laughs> okay. Open one. Open one with yeah, me, Andrew. Sure. Open, open one open with one me. Right first now. time ever... This is a radio first. Do we get, someone got a camera? Look at that. Oh, the corner comes off. It's a bit difficult. I just open that. Oh, that is moist. And let's that's just, all the way from China. Let's just see that's how, Chinese moistness. Let's just see how refreshing it is. What does that smell like? I mean, they've been in my pocket, so... Oh, quite oh, apricot yeah, isn't it? No, it's really it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Jack's wrapping us up. We're telling us to move on. And you know what? I'm just wiping my face. Because that. essentially it, it all does. we're doing is washing our face on air. It does. I think it was warranted that Jack told us to move on. <laughs> I think there's better it, things we could be focusing it, on. But it, I'm it, just showing you the quality. It is refreshing. So um, that's the whole reason I got these was to get the name out there. It's yeah. a concept. It's a new concept in marketing. How many marketing. refreshing towels have we got? 5,000. Okay. So that's fine. We used to. F- fairly new concept. It's called merchandising. So yeah. what it is, is putting your name on useful products yeah. and getting them out into society. Now, yeah. I just can't. This is fun, me giving you a moist towelette, but mm. you know about Hamish and Andy. Yeah, this is true. Radio I... show's only been on air for three weeks, Andy. How do we get the name out there? We thought with 50,000 ninjas, it's 50,000 napkins, yeah. we... Introduce the concept of napkin ninjas. So what happens is hamishnanny.com, mm. you register to become a napkin ninja. Yep. We then take your application, uh, we process it, we hopefully send you out a starter pack of 100 Hamish and Andy napkins. Yep. This is where the ninjaing bit comes in. You then go to a local cafe, pizza shop, mm. chicken shop, whatever. Where you want to go? Whoever has napkins, mm. you steal theirs, yep. you switch ours in. Switch in, ours in. Into you don't even have to steal theirs, really. I suppose you don't. But we'd like you to misplace theirs. <laughs> I suppose you could steel, just shift theirs steel is to strong, your house. This is a strong word, you know? I don't think but you can it, steal something that's complimentary. So we're switching. We would like you to switch out. Switch out the napkins. Um, and that's really helped get the name of the show out there. So I thought, Ando... Hey, can I just quickly Finally, say, the napkins got here today. That is sort of the news we're glossing over. Yeah. I mean, Customs got their mitts on them, and we had to pay quite a handsome ransom mm. to re- release them from Customs. And for any ninja out there that wants to be part of the switcheroo, mm-hmm. they would be sent... A uh, hundred starter pack yep. of napkins. Yeah, I've just found out that to send out a hundred napkins, how much do you think that cost? Not really relevant. Seven bucks <laughs> for fifty thousand ham. Yep, that's five hundred. <laughs> yep, going out seven, seven, three and a half grand, three and a half thousand dollars. It's going to send just mm. the post things now. <laughs> On top of you already spending well, far money. more than that cost. Yeah. <laughs> but can you put a price on merchandise, Ando? I say no, mm. and what the sensei says goes. Same. History, Ando. 
Today, we got all the merchandise that you perched for the show. Yep. Um, merch perch. <laughs> I did just say that, didn't you? Yeah. You perched. I think I've, say, I've been saying uh, merch so much that any word that sounds like mm. that, we can just abbreviate. The merch perch came in. Um, amongst that, it was 50,000 napkins, which is a lot of boxes for office. Hashtag, <laughs> um, you know, merch Mageddon, would we go with? <laughs> <laughs> Jack doesn't yeah, think so. Jack doesn't like it. Here's one I was thinking of. I don't know if it's the right hashtag or yeah, not, but yeah. tell, me if, tell me if you think this is good. Yeah. Hashtag the Merch of Biontology. So it's like uh, the Church of Scientology. Uh, okay. Not bad, right? Not terrible. <laughs> okay. Jack again telling us to move on. Okay, fair enough. Not since we washed our faces on air. Not five minutes ago have we seen that hand signal. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, here's the thing. There was 50,000 Hamish Nettie branded napkins. Finally, Your whole plan for me was I was a bit disappointed mm. that that would cost a lot of money and there wouldn't be a lot of use. Was, no, no, no. We're going to get the name out there and the way we do that is get Napkin Ninjas involved. Now, Who are Napkin Ninjas? People. They're, they're people listening to this show that have, that have actually registered at hamishnetty.com and their interest. Could be your friend, your sister, your brother, your mother, you don't know. You send them a hundred napkins as a starter pack, yep. Hamish Nandy branded napkins. They are encouraged to go into any venue that yep. has napkins and perform a switcheroo. So suddenly our napkins are out there. It's harnessing the power of merchandising, which is a concept in marketing mm. to get your name out there by stamping your name on normal <laughs> things. You thought you'd lead by example today, being the napkin sensei, and go out and perform the first switcheroo we have with these napkins. I, I sh- didn't realise. I should point out mm. to be the napkin sensei has a uniform. Mm. Um, which is hard to detect to the naked eye, but it involves uh, wearing one of the Hamish and Andy branded ties around your head like yeah. a headband. Yeah, I think that was improvised. I'm not sure if that was you know, in the sensei handbook. If you read back through ancient <laughs> scriptures, often the sensei is depicted that way. This is how it went down. Napkin, you're getting ready here. Napkin sensei? You don't... You only get a tie around your head when you're a sensei. Yep. You don't so necessarily don't, have to wear a tie around your head. I think well, it's actually can draws, if more, you're a sensei. No, draws more attention to you. It's how other ninjas know your rank. <laughs> other ninjas won't be getting a tie. No, this is just for the sensei. You're not meant to ever be seen by a ninja. You're not meant to be seen. My skills of deception are so good, I could be wearing a fluoro vest and no one would see me. That would, be less, good the that would be less conspicuous than a tie around your head because fluoro vests are often worn by people. Let's just understand that the tie is a rank thing and an honour system. <laughs> it's rank for sure. And unfortunately, just regular level street ninjas won't be getting a tie until they've proved themselves to be sensei level. The idea the being... Other, the other critical thing is these. Yeah. Starter pack, 100. 100 napkins. Yeah. I actually left the building and forgot them. I had to run back and get them. That's sloppy sensei behaviour and I've definitely learned my lesson now. Ready to do the switch. So you know what your job is? I'm just going to distract? Yeah. Someone just yelled out, go get him. Go Someone get literally him. just yelled out, go get him. So he might have seen the tie. <laughs> Hi there, how are you? Yeah, very yeah, really well. Thought I'd come in and have a look at your soups, the soup range. Mushroom rice today. Mushroom rice? So while Andy tried to carry on a conversation about mushroom soup, I, the napkin sensei, slipped the napkins out of my jacket and attempted the switch. Just going to take tissue and then I see. Oh, I did. I dropped I the tissue. Oh no, don't. Face. Yes. You can have this tissue. I know, don't tell because anyone. Because you're in the middle of doing something sneaky. Let me give you this. Thank you. Okay. Don't tell anyone. Napkin Sensei, you okay. never saw him. Mm, despite being spotted by some sort of ninja fan slash customer, the Sensei had successfully completed the first ever napkin ninjaing. Meanwhile, back at the counter, Andy continued his excellent mushroom-based diversion tricks. Hamish is not that keen on mushrooms, so I'll, I'll check with uh, I'll check with him. Hey, do you you don't want the mushroom set, do you? No thanks. No. Pretend I'm not here. See ya. Thanks, guys. See you guys. Bye. Bye. I was never here. As easy as pie. That lady came up to and said, you've dropped a tissue. At which stage I said, it's a napkin. But um, look, don't tell Andy because I'm meant to be the best in the world at this. <laughs> <laughs> the video is up now, hamishandandy.com, of the first switcheroo. I think it's really, mm. it's actually a really beautiful thing for like kids to see, especially if they're involved in competitive sport or yep. they've got like a big school thing coming up, to show them that even the best in the world at something, yep. like me being the best napkin ninja so far in the world, mm. even 
those guys can make mistakes and drop Norm- one napkin. Normally, but if it, they're if still it, people. If you're a sensei as well, you normally you're not so showy, but you'll notice that <laughs> Hamish winks at camera when he performs it. It's at hamishandandy.com. Not to be confused with martial arts sensei. <laughs> <laughs> I don't embody any of those attitudes. Hame. Very exciting, Ando. A few weeks ago, you spent money from the joint account. Um, yep. The very fact that it, and the, the nature that it is joint means you don't check with the other person. It's you and I. We have but an account together. How canst I surprise you, sir? With your own money. I can't, if I must check all the time. Because I think uh, the surprised. thing I love you're about surprised. our relationship yeah. is you're at a level where you just know the other guy's going to love something. <laughs> so you can dip into the joint account. I did that and I bought... 5,000 branded moist towelettes, mm-hmm. 500 air fresheners, 500 slight bevel six-inch rulers, yep. 50 embroidered ties, and 50,000 Hamish and Andy napkins. These are all the minimum orders. I couldn't physically get less from the merchandise factory in China. From, oh, I was going to say reputable. No, just from a Chinese factory. No, no, no not <laughs> reputable. Cheapest. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, look, the, the point of this was, I was like, how is this helping us? We, what it is, is hindering us at the moment because there's like boxes and boxes and offers and no one actually can sit anywhere. Had to explain to you the concept of merchandise, which is you write your name on something functional, you give it out, mm. gets the name out there, gets the name in people's heads. And I thought, would it not be wonderful, Ando, yep. to distribute packs of 100 napkins to people that register at hamishandandy.com to become napkin ninjas, yep. and then they can take the 100 napkins, go to a store, go to a restaurant or a fast food outlet or wherever place has napkins, Switch the napkins. Yes. Put ours in there. Suddenly, we're infiltrating. The and we're nation. in heaps of different. Our stores. napkins are just bleeding out. The seeds are planted. I th- then those napkins tell their friends, and then they tell their <laughs> friends. <laughs> We've got. I mean, there's a. There, you can go to hamishandy.com if you want to register your interest in being a napkin ninja. There's so many people have done it before. And on last Friday, Finally. we sent out a hundred starter packs. So a hundred, hundreds. Ten thousand napkins went yeah. out. Last Thursday night, I think it was. So as the napkin sensei, I was so excited to finally, after all these weeks of red tape and custom seizing, Mm. you know, if you know the story, you know the story. Finally, the napkins went out. I was so excited to call the napkin ninjas today to see how they were going. This is uh, how the sensei's calls went. Hello? Hello, is that Michael? Yes, it is. Michael, it's the napkin sensei. I was wondering when I'd get this call. It's happened. My whole life led up to this moment, and now it's complete. Very good. (laughs) Very good, Michael. Stop making the napkin since they giggle. And allow me to regrain ultimate focus. I apologise, napkin sensei. Have you received your napkins? No. Really? Yeah, really. Uh, I was under the impression that they should have got to you by now. That's why I've been expecting the call. Well, this was more of a confirmation call, not a complaints call. Well, things change, don't they? Michael! Yes? They will be with you by tomorrow. I'm positive they were sent on Thursday afternoon. (laughs) All right, then. Do you doubt the napkin sensei? I wouldn't say I doubt. Good boy! Stand by that letterbox. Goodbye, Michael. All right, bye. Hello, Jaden Walsh speaking. Jaden. Hello? <laughs> Jaden, did you receive a special package today? Uh, I haven't been to my letterbox yet. Right, I'm pretty sure the napkins were meant to get there today, and you are in the first 100 people to receive their 100 napkins. I'll run out now and check. All right, are you on your mobile? Yeah. Run with me, Jaden. Take me. <laughs> Run along the treetops if you have that ability, if you're that kind of ninja. Yeah, yeah, running. How fast? Faster Pretty quick. than the wind in the hair of a Brumby racing through uh, the battlefields of Japan. Um, yeah, no, they're not here. Are you looking in the right spot, Jaden? There was a fairly big package. Maybe they got left by the front door or something. No, they're not here. Be really alert tomorrow, okay? I will. What are you doing right now? Pacing. Good. <laughs> Continue pacing for one day and one night. Okay, it will be done. I gotta go. Bye. Yes. Melanie. Oh, yes. Is this the Napkin Sensei? Very good, Napkin Ninja Melanie. <laughs> Have you received your napkins? I haven't. I'm waiting for them. Really? Mm hmm. Sorry, Napkin Sensei was under the impression that the ninjas would have their napkins by today. 
Well, they haven't come yet. I just checked my letterbox before. <laughs> hell. I know. Ah, oh, me. Well, <laughs> Napkin Sensei's a little bit annoyed at his napkin helpers because he was assured that the first batches of 100 would be hitting his ninjas today, hence my follow-up calls. Yeah, yeah, no, haven't got anything yet. A hundred you'll get them tomorrow. They better come tomorrow. <laughs> so, so that's about it from me. Um, just keep, keep, keep hanging by that mailbox, okay? I will, I won't leave the house through. I've got to go. Thank you. <laughs> don't know they're going coming tomorrow. They should have been there today, I know, I know they really should have been there, but you don't know that. Stop they making must, promises. They must be there tomorrow. You're pretty bad. If they, It feels like they're the equivalent of kind of our henchmen or your henchmen. <laughs> you don't see Bane in, in the dark night going. That's, this is exactly my point. He's, he's got a good workforce. I don't know what's that. I'm not blaming my helpers. I'm blaming bloody Australia Post. <laughs> really? It's a big allegation. Well, I'm a ninja. I can do whatever I want. What are you going to do? Come back at a sensei. Love to see that. <laughs> hey, Richard Andy. Hey, and this is exciting because <laughs> you did, with the joint account, buy a lot of merchandise for the show. Specifically, amongst other things, Ando. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, you've got 5,000 moist towelettes. Do you want one? Uh, sure. Um, yeah, and uh, carry two on me. Thank you. <laughs> he actually there you does. Go. Thank you. <laughs> uh, uh, also, you know, six inch beveled rulers, ties. But um, the thing that I was most shocked with was 50,000. Napkins. Yep. Hamish and Andy napkins. Two and, ply. Don't, I didn't go crazy. But. And I, I, I put to you at the time, so what is the point of this? How the hell is the, having 50,000 napkins going to get our name out there? And I decided that we would enlist napkin ninjas mm. for the show, whereby we send out 100 napkins mm. to people that register as a napkin ninja with the specific instructions that they go to their local fast food chains, service stations, restaurants, whatever, and switch out the existing napkins with Hamish and Andy Napkins, thus for the first time on the planet, trialling the idea of merchandise, mm. a brand name printed on a functional item that has nothing to do with what the brand delivers. Yeah, exactly. Napkins. Napkins for us this time around. Hey, you have enlisted a lot of Napkin Ninjas. Thousands of people have come, come forth saying well, they want to be Napkin Ninjas. This you so then exciting. became the Napkin Sensei. And I they are my loyal subjects. You sent them out on Friday, all the napkins they went out on behalf of the show. Napkin Sensei rang some ninjas yesterday. There was a small bureaucratic stuff up. The napkins had not arrived, but Ando. But they have today. We saw on Instagram that people were saying, yes, we've got, um, our, we've got our napkins. Hey, as the Napkin Sensei, you're about to get a Napkin Ninja up. Vanessa... Yes, hello. Hello, this is the Napkin Sensei. Hello, Napkin Sensei. Konnichiwa. What's up? Konnichiwa. Good. How are you? I'm good, thank you, Napkin Sensei. Do you have the napkins? I have said napkins in my hot little hand. Are they of a quality that you deem appropriate? I did. I had to iron a few flats so they're nice and crisp, ready to go. Oh, right. Wow. She's actually... Sorry, should I be doing a voice? Or are you I know. You're, you're just my... You're like okay, cool. Pixie from <laughs> Monkey Magic. <laughs> okay. I'll, ta- I'll, I'll take... I'll take... Pigsy. Pigsy. Not Pigsy. <laughs> um, it's a long reference anyway. Um, Vanessa, we understand that you are standing by in a stakeout car. You are in, out the front of a pub, is it? Yes, it is a pub. Name what the... town are you in, Vanessa? I'm in Warrnambool. Good. Warrnambool. Okay, so where's that? Southern Victoria. Yeah, Southern Victoria. Okay. Um... Vanessa, are you willing and ready to carry out your mission to the fullest of your ability? I am willing and ready and could, I accept. Could you just wait the length of one song? Yes, I can wait the okay, length of one song. Okay, great. And uh, there are now 100 Napkin Ninjas active Australia-wide, mm. with a further 100 being sent out tonight, mm. and for the 100 packs. So that soon there'll be 20,000 napkins out there. One such lady is Vanessa Hem. She's been standing by in a car outside a pub. Vanessa. Napkin Ninja. No, I'm Napkin Sensei. Oh, I'm Napkin Sensei. I'm Napkin Ninja. That's right. Good. Good remembering of your rank. Try, trying to elevate myself. <laughs> Not yet, Vanessa, but when you carry out your mission, you will be rewarded with moist towelettes. Ooh, nice. Ooh, we're getting ahead of ourselves, though. <laughs> Vanessa, are you ready to walk into the pub in Warrnambool where you are? I am ready to walk into the Flying Horse Bar and Brewery. Okay, the Flying Good. Horse Bar and Brewery. Now you Remember, on. a ninja is silent and silent. stealthy and carries out their mission with little or no fear. Are you at the door? I am approaching the door as we speak. Vanessa, you have the sensei's permission to go through the door. Okay, I'm approaching the door, going through the door now. 
Do you know where the napkins are, Vanessa? Obviously, now you can oh. speak just normally or... Scan yeah, the bar using see. the ninja skills that you yeah. possess. Scraping the bar, I'm not seeing any at the moment. Oh, I've spotted the napkin. Very good, Vanessa. From here, your training should take over and the spirit of the napkin ninja should flow through your veins, filling the bar with an aura of stealth and craftiness. I've stolen the napkins and I've replaced. You have pleased your senses. <laughs> Get out of there. Get out of there. I'm getting, I'm going. Vanessa, how no, no one has spotted. Oh. Oh, I've, been, oh, I've been stopped by a sir. No, I do not want a table. Thank you. That's fine. Okay, I'm out the door. Excellent skills. <laughs> Excellent <laughs> skills of deception, Vanessa. How many napkins did you steal? Uh, um, I have two whole hands and they're huge. My pockets are full. Right. They are now yours. To the victor go the spoils. And no Enjoy your booty. And no one suspected a thing? No, no one has suspected a thing. How'd you feel, Vanessa? Was it a rush? I just did celebratory threw my napkins in the air. <laughs> <laughs> now pick them up. Don't litter Australia. Yeah, I know. Nap- I have to pick them all up. Na- napkin <laughs> Sensei in- endorses Warnable as a tidy tail. Down. Please pick up your stolen napkins. And Vanessa, keep your eye on your letterbox for a booty of 10. Moist towelette fresheners will be coming to you. Thank you so much. You Thanks, have Vanessa. pleased the sensei. Hey, Hamish and Eddie driving you home. Hey. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hey, I know we've got napkin ninjas, and uh, obviously to fill everyone in just quickly, sure. you bought a lot of merchandise from a joint account. Mm-hmm. 50,000 napkins, Hamish and Eddie branded napkins yep. came in. There are still a lot of boxes around. Sure, first 10,000 are out around Australia, mm-hmm. Ando, and people would be seeing on Instagram and Twitter and mm-hmm. Facebook, people completing their tasks. Napkin ninjas all over the country mm-hmm. are receiving their 100 Hamish and Eddie napkins in the mail from the napkin sensei. Yep. They then go to their local bar, cafe, restaurant, coffee shop, whatever, steal the napkins from that venue, mm-hmm. replace them with our napkins, hence getting the word out. Absolutely. Haim, this is exciting, and I would love to be able to speak to the sensei because a high-profile individual... Across Australia, yep. and I would say in Britain as well, yeah. has come forward and wants to offer his services as a napkin ninja. Is the sensei about? I'll go get him, Ando. Hang okay. on one sec. <laughs> Hello, Andy. Sensei, I do have a scroll for you. Give that to me. <laughs> yes. From a ruler of the Erinsborough Shire. You have done well bringing me this scroll, Andy. Thank Did you. Did you show it to anyone else? No, no, as you can Good see. Good boy. <laughs> The scroll reads, Napkin Sensei, I humbly asked Andrew Lee to pass on my desire to be a napkin ninja. Yours sincerely, Scott McGregor from Channel 10's Neighbours. <laughs> yeah. Channel 11, actually, isn't it? Yeah, it's 11. Yeah. Yes. He, didn't, yeah, he didn't write that down. Oh, no, I added that bit and then realised <laughs> afterwards, it's on a different channel. Yeah, the idea being is Scotty, who is on Neighbours, um... Thinks he might be able to get some napkins onto the set. Napkin Sensei. Maybe Harold's Cafe or something. Likes this plan. Shall we call Scott? We shall. Ah, Jack, <laughs> enter the sacred code into the phone so that I may speak immediately to this young man. I've already given Jack his number, so it's Good, like, Jack. <laughs> fulfill your destiny and press dial immediately. Here you go. <laughs> Hello? Scott... That's me. This is the Napkin Sensei. <laughs> what an honour. How are you, Napkin Sensei? I am good, and you are honoured to be contacted by such a powerful being who is very, I am honoured. Who is busy, but has taken time out of his... <laughs> He's not that busy. He's <laughs> just 24-7 sensei to contact you. As he is, <laughs> you would like to partake in a special mission. I would love to do that. <laughs> The Napkin Sensei has sent you 100 napkins. Is this correct? I hope so. I haven't checked my no, letterbox. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, 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 yeah. He did it yesterday. Yeah. So, um, assume that's happened. This afternoon, when you go to your letterbox, you will find 100 napkins. Napkin Ninja Scott, do you know what to do with these napkins? Might start with Harold's Cafe. What do you reckon? <laughs> Very good. <laughs> this will get the message out loud and clear to all the other ninjas waiting patiently for the signal. Just a quick question. What's the turnaround like on the episode? So, like, how soon do we see them on TV if you get them into Harold's Not Cafe? Three, probably three months. <laughs> oh, jeez. This displeases the sensei. But at least in our hearts, we will know that the likes of other Neighbours actors will see them. Hey, don't put a hundred in the cafe. Get a couple at the bar as well. Yes, listen I to... I reckon we'll do that. Yes. A couple in the waterhole, a couple in Toadie's place. Yeah. 
Yeah. Watch out, Toadie has been known to perspire a bit and the, a dishonourable use for a napkin is to wipe the brow of a Toadie. <laughs> he, he won't be happy, but I'll, <laughs> he'll like it. Yeah. Good, now the napkins will be seen by big Australian stars such as Olympia Valance and yeah. the rest of the cast. <laughs> <laughs> Could you also put some in the cast cafeteria? Oh, well, I'll definitely do that, Ham. Okay, do you not a problem. Uh, Napkin Sensei. <laughs> Nobody knows my real name. It is a mystery. <laughs> that is a legend throughout the ages. Sorry, Napkin Sensei. Uh, it seems like you've got a lot of targets. Do you want an extra hundo to be sent out? I think we should. Yeah, no ready? worries. You're my first high-profile ninja. It shall be done. <laughs> I'm very busy, as I mentioned earlier. I must, I must, I've right? got to go, mate. I've got to backflip out of here. You have your orders. Do not disappoint the sensei. Oh, I won't disappoint you, sensei. Good. I look forward to not being disappointed. I do have to go. Thanks, Scotty. <laughs> We're going to go. <laughs> See you, mate. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Same as Hey, normally, obviously, I get my dinner from Woolworths, but last night I went out to uh, a restaurant with my mum and dad. Permission granted. Mm. I know there's just been a birth of a human in the family. Yep. And sometimes, even those many celebratory meals you can cook <laughs> from the Woolworths selection, yeah. sometimes it's nice to have a restaurant <laughs> cook your Woolworths for you. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure they did source all their ingredients Good on from them. Woolies. Well, um, I know you wouldn't eat anywhere else. Um, so, my mum and dad, my brother, his girlfriend, um, Beck and I, we all went to, uh, to a restaurant last night, yes, to celebrate the fact there's a new member of the family. And... Um, when I was in there, we all sat down, table for six. And I was going to say it was a good restaurant. Not the highest class, you know, but it was a you know good restaurant. No Michelin of, stars? No Michelin stars. And maybe a Michelin moon. 30 bucks a main. Oh, that's, that's yeah, good. 20, 25 to 30 bucks a main. That's so, good. you know, yeah, we're, good. we're treating ourselves. And there's this other family. It, it seemed like a family on a, on a bigger table, um, kind of in my periphery here. Okay. Uh, How many in the family? It was big. Uh, I think there must have been some kind of celebration. It was 10 to 12 on that table. Big family. And it was sitting at probably my 2.30. Um, Same so 3 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> so can I get bogged down in how many minutes past the hour they were geographically to you? <laughs> anyway, yeah. Okay, so you're on your 3 o'clock. <laughs> quarter to 3. Around <laughs> yeah. about there, 23, you know, just yeah. sort of late lunch. Yeah. So there's this... One of the co- there's a kid on the table. I'm going to say, sixteen, right? Yeah, okay, definitely L- a family. Looking at me, mm-hmm. right? And I looked across, and he winked at me, with a grin, and it wasn't like a confident hey, family. How are you going? It was like something's going down, type grin. Right. Okay. And I was like, what's so this? pre, like jailbreak or something in the prison yard. Yeah. Someone winks at you, Some and you go, "We're on." And he winks and he starts grinning. I'm like, what have you done? Cocky grin? No. Oh, no. It was like... It's hard to picture a wink that couldn't be either friendly. It was like, watch or... this. It was like... Okay, yep. Yeah. A magician's wink. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so he winked at me and I looked across and went, oh, yeah, cool. And then looked back at him again because this guy's winning and then and winking and, and grinning at me. <laughs> and, I, and he then held up about... I don't know, 50 Hamish and Andy branded, branded napkins. You're joking. And he's he's pulled, a ninja. He's a napkin ninja. He's pulled them out of his jacket and he just quickly showed me wink, put them down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, I like, so he's one of our napkin ninjas. And, what are the chances? There's and, only about three or 400 ninjas that have been had their napkins sent to them. Exactly. And so Beck goes, what's going on to me? And I didn't want to blow the whistle on this guy, so I went nothing. I, I mean, you I, would have been too busy just shaking and peeing <laughs> your pants. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So, I mean, to fill people in. Oh, yeah. So, we should explain. 50,000 yep. Hamish Nettie branded napkins. Yep. And then people from all around the world have asked to be napkin ninjas. And, and if, registered. If they're granted that honor by the napkin sensei. We send them a starter pack of 100 napkins, and their job is to go to different restaurants, different places that have napkins, steal that restaurant's napkins. Yep. And leave the Hamish Nanny branded ones in that place. Without gaining detection. That's the ninja part. So, so the, these so kids come out to this big family dinner and he knows what he's doing. And this is before I've got any mains or anything. So I'm like, why is he in a nice restaurant with these napkins? Looked across. They did have paper napkins. On the table. They have yeah. a napkin dispenser. And it's in, it's in the middle. So it's one of these groovy new restaurants like, no, we do a few yeah, things Yeah, we bring a bucket simple. of cutlery. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So... This excites me because I like to think that this napkin ninja mm. has scoped this place out mm. so he knows what he's doing and he's going to wait till we're going with, we're rolling a 12 strong <laughs> yeah. 
12 deep family dinner mm. and there'll be enough confusion there and then I can do my switch. Did you see him do the switch? So all night I'm looking across, you know. Do I'm it, very distracted. My, did and, you film him? Mum and Well, no, because I didn't want to draw any attention to him because imagine yeah, I sure. blew his own yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, even yeah, put... yeah, yeah, don't. Mum and Dad are going, want, everything. Want friendly fire amongst the ninjas. <laughs> Mum's going, Mum and Dad's going, everything. I was like, yeah, sorry. Just, so I, I kept going across to him, never saw him again, like go for the napkins again, back to normal conversation, and then back to, to a conversation with my family until eventually I turned around, all his family had gone vanished. And sure enough, there were no napkins on his table from the restaurant, but it was full of Hamish Nanny branded napkins. <sighs> he vanished before my very eyes. I expect no less. <laughs> and uh, did you get a photo? No, I didn't. <laughs> I, I, did a photo. I think I was in awe. I did. I also didn't want me going across and suddenly taking a photo. You're and the rest of in a verbal history handed down through the ages. The we need the, photographic evidence. You make a great point. You make a great you can't point. Can't hashtag and I'm not, nothing. That's why I'm not a shark <laughs> photographer or someone. I'd be. I was too excited and forgot to get the lens up. Oh, guys, and, see the solo eclipse? No, did you take a photo of it? Too special. <laughs> Too special. Be lost in the moment. But you can understand from my perspective that if I go across no, I know, to a I know. table, you weren't and expecting just... to see it as like a bird of paradise. <laughs> but you should have. But also just taking your head. taking a photo of the napkins after I didn't want the restaurant themselves to come and then clean up their act. No, I know, I'm sorry. I know, I'm I know. Sorry. I'm just we're well, still actually, well, can I say thirteen ten sixty then? Maybe someone out there's done better than me. Uh, this is a big call, but have you? All right, yeah. if you're an napkin ninja, and now just as an update, we've mm. sent out four hundred. Starter packs. Yeah. There's 40,000 napkins, napkins are out there. So, ha- all right, what are we asking? Have you done the switch or have you seen the napkins? That'd be great. 13, 10, 60. Yeah. And please tell me you took a photo. Can yeah. you go back tonight? Is it nearby? Yep, I can do that. I'll do that. I'll do that for sure. Appreciate yeah. that. This is now really exciting. This man. is great, Ando. <laughs> yeah. I mean, 400 napkin ninjas so far have received their 100. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's, so, there's 40,000 Hamish and Annie napkins out there to execute your mission as a napkin ninja. You must go to a venue that possesses napkins already, food service, <laughs> service station, takeaway, whatever, and do the switch. Yep. Uh, steal theirs, replace it with ours. We've got a whole bunch on Twitter um, and Instagram that have come Absolutely. in. Absolutely. So what, many. What, one on Twitter here saying it was at, they were at Opt Cafe yep. and being ninja They've there. been ninja So that wasn't from the ninja. And one, a couple of ninjas often, the, the way to do it is you do the switch, then you send us a picture of your handiwork. Yeah. Some Japanese... I feel like people think they have to do Japanese restaurants. You don't just have to do Japanese <laughs> no, exactly. restaurants, but that's certainly a theme. Um, from my very, the very rudimentary picture, but I'm almost certain yeah. from the dispensing area that that's Taco Bills. Yep, um, that's been seems done. to have been done. Ta- I mean, there's been ones that happened in London. And Nando's, then- you've been done. <laughs> <laughs> just having a look around for a few of them. There's been so many great ones, and thank you. Hashtag nap- Napkin Ninja. Hey, that's why last night. Like I said, John, I just told you the restaurant. I didn't want to give the restaurant a plug. Premium I don't want to, restaurant, I don't, too. I know it. Don't I know want, it. And it's a big scalp. Yeah. <laughs> when I told you the restaurant before, you went, hang on a minute. That's My hat premium. Flew off. Yeah, hat flew off. I saw a kid that was looking at me a bit weird, winking. I was like, is this kid coming on to me? This is very strange. And then he pulled out napkins. And quickly put them back in his pocket. I was like, oh my gosh, there's a ninja in my midst. In the restaurant. And it's it's almost like, I know this isn't the same, but if like, say you're in a bank robbery mm. and they're like, hit the floor, hit the floor. You're like, oh no, this is horrible. You're on the floor. You look to the side and a guy shows you his police badge. And you go, <laughs> okay, okay, the game's changed. Yeah, exactly. I, I now know something <laughs> that the robbers don't. Yeah. And I know who's going to win here. That's how it felt. And also, it gave us the confidence. The fact, I mean, it's, Jack's it's just a- giving me the thumbs up there for a good analogy. <laughs> Hey, we've only we've sent out how many? Forty thousand. Forty thousand. We've got with a ten thousand reserve. Yep. You don't send out all your forces at once. So that's so that's four hundred people, is it? Four hundred napkin ninjas approximately are out there, and I know a lot of people. Are that's still around si- the world and in Australia. The, the chances of me going in and crazy. seeing one are crazy. Out of control. So it gave us the confidence to ask on thirteen ten sixty: Are you ninja? Are you a ninja, or have you been ninjed by these napkins? More points if you've been ninjed, because yes. we know the ninjas listen. That's how they registered. No ninjas. Rang up. And I'm proud of that. I say, I think that's a very good... Very, very proud of the ninjas <laughs> ring up. But if you are listening, ninjas, and you haven't executed, executed your plan, mm. and you are essentially a sleeper cell at the moment, ninja, 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 <laughs> I say again, activate. But Josh has come across them. Josh, tell us, uh, 301060, you've been ninjaed. G'day, boys. How are we? Joshy, yes, Josh. how's it going? Now, whereabouts uh, were you ninjaed? All right. So, l- little town, little town on the central coast. Mm. Head along. And the Edelong diggers, and I worked there, and I was 
I was just walking past, you know, with the bit where we have the napkins. I've, I've looked down and went, "Holy dooly, there they are!" <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful to see the napkins in the wild, isn't yeah, it, yeah. Josh? Now, do you suspect a staff member or a customer? Oh, it's got to be a customer. Yeah, you yeah, say that, but we've got it. We we do. We have had a lot of ninjas um, who work at places who. have Requested the napkins, then gone in early to their place of work and switched it out. Wow. So well, we've, we've had inside that can jobs. Happen. That can happen. Can happen. Send it to me, mate. I'll I'll oh. do it. Hey, Josh, are you gonna, do you want to sign one up sight unseen right oh. now? Here? Well, I mean, I mean, Josh, yeah, but you, you, your place of work's already been ninja. No, I don't think it's his workplace. I think he's just walking past it. Oh, hang on, is this at your work? No, no, Josh? I worked there. I worked there. Oh, yeah, sorry, Ando, Josh, we've already got yeah. the we've got the we've got the the diggers. We've got the pub. It's yeah, done. Yeah, it's yeah, been yeah, ninja. Yeah. But, I mean, Josh, do you want a ninja somewhere else? Oh, I'm happy to. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll have to see if the napkin sensei approves. Yeah, That's, Haim, can you oh, go and see if he's available? Um, it would be great. Yeah, if he is. sorry, his napkin sensei's in a box right at the other side of the studio. <laughs> Not just because it takes a while for Jack to get the sound effect. Okay, um, I think he might be here. Josh! Yeah, mate. Do you know who this is? Oh. It's a napkin sensei. Oh, g'day. How's it going? Oh, I'm a bird yourself. I heard you wanted to be a ninja. Yeah? Yeah, you're in. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, we'll send you out a start about Amelia. Oh, joins just us. got back to the mic. It looked like a tough initiation, <laughs> but good that Josh is in. Amelia, how are you going? I'm pretty good. How are you guys? You've really good, Amelia. You've also seen the napkins out there. So whereabouts was it? Yeah, um, at Hogsbreath in New South Wales, one of the stores. You, so you work Great. at Hogsbreath, do you? Yeah. And someone got Hogsbreath. How, now, this Which is branch of Hogsbreath? Um, the Newcastle one. Right, okay, good, good. So, we're so really far, coastal the, ninjas. Yeah, yeah, really attacking. <laughs> I, feel like, I think they run back into the surf at night. <laughs> Please don't take your napkins in the surf. <laughs> <laughs> Amelia, can I just get, what is the vibe? Why, did you, were you the first to see it? And did you blow the whistle to the upper management there at Hogsbreath <laughs> that you'd been ninja? Uh, no, I was just cleaning a table and I found them there and I wasn't too sure what was going on, but... After hearing you guys on the radio, I figured that's what it was. Right. And so did you remove them or did you keep them there? I removed them. Yeah, that's, I mean, Sorry, that's, guys. That's your, that's your job. Oh, that's okay. It's nice to have an enemy of the napkins <laughs> on. Just, just sort of like... That's a, her job. She's just doing her job. You're doing uh, your job. I mean, yeah. yeah you, we, I mean, that's... I suppose it needs to be said that if the napkins do get detected, they get we removed. can't help yeah, them. Yeah, and that's why, Ham, I was so... You know, worried last night, and I'm tiptoeing when I saw this kid. I mean, if I gave him away, that's what's going to happen. That's true. The, the Amelia's of this other. The whole point of this is it's a concept called merchandising, which is to get the name out there in front of eyeballs. Yeah. Ando, yeah. keep him coming in. If you ha- if you are a ninja, Hamish and Eddie, Ham, the napkin ninjas out there, we salute you. If you're new to the yeah. show, welcome, um, but and welcome to the people show. But you did buy um, fifty thousand. Hamish and Eddie branded napkins with a joint account. Very, very cheap, two-ply, um, branded Hamish and Eddie napkins. Mm. And at first we didn't know what to do with them, Ando, and then we... Well, thought- it was a panic from you because I said to you, this is a waste of money, and then you came up with an idea, <laughs> and normally when you're panicking, <laughs> yeah, something silly That's where the worst up. stuff happens. <laughs> but, uh, but Napkin Ninjas... Well done to you. Was Whilst thought of in the moment, mm. turned out to be a wonderful movement uh, across Australia. Now... Across the globe, as we see more photos and videos flood in of people uh, taking the Hamish and Annie branded napkins that we send out and switching them with existing napkins in restaurants and stores all over the world. Yeah, it's a it's an idea called merch. Uh, it's short for merchandising, mm. and it's a new philosophy in marketing where you put your name on an unrelated yet useful product. Yep, choose of item. Yeah, and That's what um, it is. and put put it out there. Um, hey, m- who knows if it'll work? We'll give it. We'll see. No store is too good or too poor for our <laughs> napkins. It's definitely not too poor. No, um, the napkins are worth less than one cent each. Yeah. So, so it's, we n- don't it's have... just nice to be seeing them in high-class restaurants. That's true. I should have actually pointed out, there's, you don't have to only go to places with paper napkins. Right. If you know of a place that has a linen napkin, mm. get it. Yeah, Go for it. Yeah. Here's the thing, though, Ando. The man deciding what is right and wrong in the world of the Napkin Ninjas is the Napkin Sensei. Yes. As we know, he, he does enjoy coming in to the studio yep. every afternoon and just buzzing around the ninjas yep. and seeing how things are going. One thing kind of irked him a lot, which is how slow it was to get the napkins out. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's very, very busy, so he can't be expected to send out all the napkins. But he he, he felt like he's got them out now and... Now that a lot of the job was done, I've got some bad news. What's that? Well, the napkin sensei has grown ill. Oh, no. 
and he needed to call a napkin ninja yeah. to um to perhaps pass on the the news that he got sick and yeah. to look at a succession plan. I've got a, kind of a napkin on hand because this might be quite. There's none in here, but this is how it went. Sad. <laughs> Hello, Matthew speaking. Matt, how are you? I am very good. How are you, Sensei? Ah, very good, Matthew. <coughs> Sorry, <clears throat> Matthew. Yes, Sensei. I trust you received your package. I have been standing by the letterbox for the last three weeks, and alas, nothing has arrived. <laughs> what? Really? Really? Matthew, this shits me. I can't explain <laughs> how much this shits me. It, I am an old man and I do not have time for such sloppiness. I was very much under the impression your napkins should have been there two weeks ago. Uh, sensei, I think Australia Post are to blame for this. They shall incur our wrath. Matthew, <laughs> when you get your package, I want you to make the first target the post office. I shall. True, they do not traditionally have napkins <laughs> until you strike. And strike well. I shall strike everywhere. Yeah, great. So I was sort of assuming that you would have got them by now. I had something else to talk to you about, but I'll call someone else. Keep up the good <laughs> ninjuring. Okay. <laughs> we never spoke. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Hello. I'm um, still yeah. there. Oh, sorry, bye, Matt. Oh, see you, mate. Bye. Yeah, see ya. <laughs> see you, mate. Bye. Uh, who? Uh, it's like... Sensei. Good. Bye. Okay. Bye. Hello, Fraser speaking. Fraser. Napkin Sensei. Very that good. You? Very good, Fraser. Where are you right now? I am at Mannix College <laughs> at Monash University. Very good. And have you received your napkins? I have. I infiltrated the dining hall and swapped out my napkins for theirs. Very good, my son. Ah, ah, ah. Sorry, Napkin Sensei is an old man. I know, very understandable. And winter has been cruel to him. Yes. Because he normally sleeps under a blanket of 50,000 napkins. Ah, but, but with they, so many depleted. distributed. Yes, you see where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Thermally, he has not been able to capture the same amount of body heat as past winters. Yeah. Uh, he has sacrificed his health for the honour of the Napkin Ninjas. You are my idol, Napkin Sensei. Well, yeah. I need to step away from being the Napkin Sensei for a little while to regain my strength. Ah. If I send you my headband... Will you take over the napkin sensei duties while would, I am recouping? Uh, it would only be my honour. Your greatest honour? The greatest of honours of anyone. In return, simply call your firstborn napkin sensei. I will. Fraser, you are now the caretaker sensei. <laughs> A role that I will treasure. I have to go and I need some more... Vitamin C and echinacea, but yes. I will oranges, s- very good. good. I will not call you sensei, though. I will call you brother. Ah, oh, goodbye, brother. Sayonara. Ahoy. Even better. Well done. <laughs> Ahoy to finish <laughs> it, it got that emotional that everyone was forgetting if it was the start or the end of the conversation. Huge twist, Ando. Can't believe So it. the sensei's out. Yeah, yeah. He's sick. He's not he's dead. Got- <laughs> <laughs> sorry. sorry. Are you sorry, listening? Yeah, yeah sorry. I think sorry. you're doing emails. <laughs> <laughs> He's on his way out. He's on his way out. Yeah. <laughs> oh, poor bedside matter for me. Poor bedside matter. <laughs> Well, if this is the way you're telling the family, he's actually sick, mate. He's okay, still very sorry. much alive. Like I said, poor bedside matter. But he's had to contact Fraser, as yeah. you heard there, to send... Now Fraser's the sensei. Yep. And that's... Uh, obviously, he's now the leader. No, it's a huge twist. So, I mean, I was going to give you the <laughs> is job that of... the twist? That's not the twist. It's not the twist of today's show. No, yeah. no that, that's still twist, coming mate. up when we have M. Night Shyamalan on soon.
Hey, as we just pointed out at the top of the show, uh, there's some great napkin ninjas out mm, there. Mm. There's an army of, of goodness. There is, isn't there? Yeah. Loyal, loyal ninjas to the show, Ando. Exactly. Who put their hand up and said, yes, send me 100 very cheap, thin Hamish and Andy branded napkins, mm-hmm. and I'll take them to a venue that I know of that has napkins, and I'll switch out the venue's napkins for the Hamish and Andy napkins. Yeah. Almost 50,000 napkins now have been distributed across At this. great cost to this station. Yes, to the station, yeah, yes. Exactly. Not, not us. To no, us. No, 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 no. We just put them in a tub at reception. They yeah, go. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Assume someone's paying for the we, postage. There was a, there was a mail out box and yep. we filled the box. It's a magical box. Yeah, exactly. It's we only... keep putting napkins in there and they keep vanishing. So and... thank you to the elves that perform those tasks. <laughs> I don't know who you are, but you've saved us thousands in postage. Julie specifically. Yeah, thank you, Jules. Yeah, we do know who you are. Uh, um, uh, here's the thing, though, Ando. To, to coordinate that level of um, a napkin blitz across yeah. this country. And people can search. If you look at Instagram or Twitter, you look at the hashtag Napkin Ninja, you'll see some great work that's been done yep. by the ninjas out there. Now, we've still got a lot of ninjas dormant because, mm. I mean, we've sent out, um, you know, hundreds yeah. of packs. And there's certainly not... There's... Well, I think nearly 40,000 napkins have gone out and I yeah. don't think there's been 40,000 reflected in the hashtag uh, Napkin Ninjas for people doing their great work and, and the... posting on Instagram or Facebook. And the napkins are so exciting, you should photograph each one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, so do hashtag each one. So, But they're out there and I know more and more people are stepping up and doing it. But you need someone running that organisation. Yep. Now, it was the Napkin Sensei. Until yesterday, Ham. Where Bad news. It was a, yeah, it was a shock to the whole group, particularly me, Ham, that you, I mean, sorry, the Napkin Sensei. Luckily, I, when I see him come into the studio to yeah. call the ninjas, I'm able to record it. Yep. And he did call a ninja yesterday to tell him that he was unwell. Mm. Uh, 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 sorry, Napkin Sensei is an old man. I know, very understandable. And... Winter has been cruel to him. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I need to step away from being the napkin sensei for a little while to regain my strength. Ah. If I send you my headband, will you take over the napkin sensei duties? Ah, it would only be my honour. Your greatest honour? The greatest of honours of anyone. So there you go. Uh, you go. Young not man called, at all. Not dramatic at all. Young man called Fraser there. Just the appropriate level there. Not having words put in his mouth and accepting that it was the greatest honour <laughs> of his life of all time. So he, he went away excited. going, yeah. great, well, I'm the napkin sensei. Yep. Well, amazing twist in this story, Ando. <laughs> Coming this morning, yeah. I hear the napkin sensei is actually feeling better. <laughs> <laughs> So we, um, so so did the you napkins, take it back? Well, no, the napkin <laughs> sensei thought he liked your Fraser a buzz to uh, say, you know, thanks for your few hours you've spent as a sensei, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it back. Ahoy. Fraser. Napkin sensei. Hello, brethren. How are you, my brother? I am good. I... Wanted to call you to see how you were going. It's been 24 hours now since I gave you the insane honour of also becoming a caretaker napkin sensei. The honour is still prestigious, napkin sensei. No doubt you're just getting a F load of babes at the moment. So many babes. Good. That is one of the perks of being the napkin sensei. Also, one of the perks is the incredible responsibility that comes with being in charge of every napkin ninja across Australia. It is a big task, but I I wish to take it on. I call you with some interesting news. Ah, enlighten me. Yesterday, the napkin sensei called you and told you he was gravely, gravely ill. Yes, I I did not sleep. Many tears were shed for the old napkin sensei, and some wondered if he would even survive through the night. Oh, it, it, it was a rough night. I have some good news. Yes. I'm feeling better. Oh, lovely. Heaps better, actually. And, oh, um, awesome. Yes, so rejoice, and I think I might take back the title. Oh. Okay. Yeah, feeling really good. Caught up with my doctor this morning. He thinks it might have just been a 24-hour thing. Oh. So... Thanks for looking after the role for a while and I'll let you know if I ever face grave danger again and need your help, Fraser. I will always be here for you. You shall still be sent five refresher towelettes. 
Oh, just very bold. And pray for the sensei's health, which has returned. I always do. Thank you. I feel really good. I've actually never felt better. Well, awesome. I'm just so happy that you're feeling better. I appreciate that. I must go. All right. Goodbye, my brother. No, now I'm your father, and I outrank you again. <laughs> yeah, oh, bugger. Good, <laughs> goodbye, son. I was, I was climbing the ladder. I know. Now I'm better than you. I'm I thought we were equal on the family tree. Very briefly. <laughs> and now I'm back to being better than you. Oh, okay, father. Very good, son, who lives in fear of me. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, short-lived. Short-lived. <laughs> short-lived right at the top of the You never I, know what's going to happen with the napkin I sensor. He, I, thought, I think on Instagram he posted how delighted he was to be the yep. napkin sensor. Sure, that was yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, I hope he, ruled at the top. I phrased it. Yeah, we did see that he posted on our account. So, mm. look, I hope you... I hope you did what you needed to do overnight, because um, you're not the sensei anymore. Maybe should have Pam, the Napkin Ninja saga. Yeah. Um, it's been a great one, a great journey. We couldn't be prouder of the Napkin Ninjas no. that have spread across Australia. Um, somewhere between forty and 50,000 napkins have now been distributed. And what seemed like a silly purchase back uh, a few months ago, mm. for using the joint account to buy 50,000 very, very cheap, thin, branded mm. Hamish and Andy napkins, has now turned into a wonderful movement where we send out packs of 100 napkins to people that want to become napkin ninjas and go to restaurants and cafes and truck stops, etc. Places that have napkins, paper napkins, switch them out. Secretly switch them out. Secretly switch them out. Ours like are in, a ninja. theirs are out. If you go to Don't Twitter or Instagram and look at the hashtag Napkin Ninja, mm. you'll see the work of our ninja army. Hundreds of hashtag posts have well got done. some incredible stuff. I mean, yep. the theatre shows. There's some at the Lion King. A lot of like a lot of famous fast food restaurants have been hit. Unis, twenty first. Some people have even seen the napkins. They weren't ninjas themselves, but just gone. Huh. Okay, someone's been here. Someone's been here. We'll just put, put everyone at random here. <laughs> Boom. There you go. It's at a conference. <laughs> Bang. Just in a conference center. And we just re- retreated one of our favorite ones, Ham, uh, which was a, a guy that um, they hit a few spots up. Over a video. Made yeah. a video. Made a, made a best of. Now, the thing is that to run the Napkin Ninjas, the Napkin Sensei has <laughs> certainly had his work cut out for him. Um, if you've been listening to the show the past couple of days, the Napkin Sensei who's a very, very old Japanese man. Mm. It sounds a little bit like me, but that's probably just because of the microphones in here. Yeah. Um, he got very ill. And he called one of the Napkin Ninjas, Fraser. I think this was on Tuesday, mm. and said to Fraser, "Hey, you need to be the Napkin Sensei." Yeah. Fraser was blown away. Yeah, uh, very honoured, very, very honoured. But then well, I thought it was peculiar that the very next day you rang back Fraser and then and said to him, "No, well, the you... Napkin Sensei did." Sorry, sorry, the Napkin <laughs> Sensei did my mistake and said, "No, I'm feeling better." Feeling better, now. and yeah. that can happen yeah. with old people. Yeah, um, they, <laughs> they can, can bounce they, back. They can bounce back. Well, Ando, today yeah. the uh, Napkin. <laughs> Now, oh, he's not sick again. That can sense a... <laughs> what if I give Fraser another call? Ahoy. Fraser. Ah, Napkin Sensei. Ah, my son, how are you? I'm very good, my father. We've had a crazy week, have we not? Yes, it's, it's had its ups and downs. First, you were just a ninja. Then, you were elevated to being a sensei. When I had a period of grave illness. The greatest 24 hours of my life. You had it snatched back and you have returned to just being a ninja. Mm. I have some grave news. Grave news? Enlighten me, Sensei. I thought I had retained full health and then this morning I barely could breathe. And at my age, not a good sign. No, that... Sounds very dangerous, Sensei. Coughing, coughing, coughing. What's wrong with me? Hands and knees. Reaching for a napkin. No napkin anywhere. I've given them all away. You're too generous. It occurred to me, perhaps this coyote had been too swift to climb the sand dune, which is a Japanese saying that loosely translates to English to mean perhaps I'd been too quick to take back my senseiship. I have a great analogy. My master. Good compliment from you, <laughs> Fraser. That is why I would like to hereby remake you the sensei. Do you accept? Oh, of course. Uh, I... I must go. I'm again having this trouble with my breath. The lark must now fly into the lake 
which is a Japanese saying which loosely translates to I have to hop off the phone. Very well. I will ride like an eagle. Shush. That's nonsense. <laughs> you cannot ride like an eagle. That's an airborne creature. Uh, the only animals that ride are mammals that can tame horses. But in time, your sensei sayings will get better, my brother. Uh, you, you will teach me the ways, I hope. If I'm here long enough, goodbye. I look forward to it. Goodbye, my goodbye. son. Am, am I back to No, son? we're brothers now because you're a sensei oh, yeah, again. Sorry, m- my mistake. I, I you are the, the sensei. Family tree is very complicated. It is your duty now to look after everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye. So wow, dramatic, that's, right? Yeah, so, so the cute. sensei first gives away the censorship, takes yeah. it back, now he's giving it away again because wow, he's worried about his health. Yeah. So Ando, yeah. sensei then gets off the phone yeah. and, you know, it starts feeling better again. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I was yeah. I mean, I, no, I didn't. The so, sensei so, so did. the sensei rings Fraser back? Yeah, he's ringing Fraser back and giving the bad news. <laughs> We just heard that earlier today, mm-hmm. um, the napkin sensei uh, rang back Fraser again and said, hang on, I'm going to give it back to you. <laughs> feeling and, sick again. And are you feeling sick again? Yep. Are you about to tell me that you have since, within what, how long did you mm. wait before you rang him back again? It was about one minute <laughs> between phone calls. I didn't call him, Ando. How many times have I tell you this? No, no, sometimes no. I'm lucky enough to see the napkin ninja making yeah, these calls. Yeah, napkin yeah so, sorry, napkin sensei, sensei waited one minute mm. and then... um. Yeah, there was a situation change and he had to call Fraser back again <laughs> after handing him the censorship. A guy that was very, very excited that mm. he had received this honour. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> what if he never answers again? Ahoy! <laughs> Fraser! Napkin Sensei, it's, it's been so long. How are you, fellow uh, Sensei? Very well. You may recall <laughs> minutes ago... I gave you the title of sensei. Yeah, I accepted it greatly. Literally after I got off the phone, my doctor called me because I was telling him about how I couldn't breathe. And he said to me, you haven't had any dairy lately, have you? He said, yes, doctor. I had a cheesecake. He said, you fool, I told you. You have a lactose problem. It will give you a shortness of breath immediately. It's it's a problem. Immediately, I remembered he had said that. And now that I've cut dairy from my diet, I feel a million yen. A million yen? Loosely (laughs) $10,000. So, sorry to do this to you again, but... I'm going to have to snatch back that title. So, so I'm back to Ninja? And Just back to a Ninja, yep. And son? Yes, now you are yep. the, again <laughs> one of my sons, and I am oh. the sensei. I, I'm still very privileged. I hope you used your short period at the top to good effect. Well, now it's 24 hours and one minute, really, <laughs> that I've been sensei for, so uh, it's, it's been very good. You have impressed me. Have I now? Yes, and as I feel, I'm an old man, as and I feel old age creeping upon to me. Uh, I'm blind. Oh, no. I, I'm losing my sight. How can I be the sensei with if I cannot see? <laughs> Perhaps I do have to pass it on to you. Will you accept? I, I will always accept. Fraser, sorry, just realised my headband slipped down. I can oh. see. <laughs> An honest mistake. False alarm, my son. <laughs> I, I was worried there for a second. Ah, Fraser, the mighty snake is twirling its arm, <laughs> which is an old Japanese saying that loosely translates to, i got to wrap it up. So, Very good. just to recap, you're not the sensei, but um, you're a good, a very good ninja. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it up. I'm going to send you another hundo. Oh, perfect. Good. Always, always enjoy it. I love you as a son, which is a Japanese <laughs> saying that loosely translates to, I'm very fond of you as a fellow man. Oh, it's, it's, it's very generous of you to say that, Sensei. Are you, are you at uni right you. now? I, I am. Yeah, okay, you get to class, keep studying. You never know when you never know when this career as a Sensei might evaporate and you need a profession to fall back onto. It'll get me further in life than this engineering course. And like that... <laughs> The sensei was gone. Goodbye. Okay, now I'm gone. Good kid. Takes it well. <laughs> that's, a, that's the last of the chapters. <laughs>
<laughs> what a day of ups and downs. For that <laughs> and uh, minutes away uh, from playing everyone the test, the honesty test we did on our mate Aaron Hillier yeah. this morning. See if you uh, cheat in a game that we're playing tonight. You guys uh, are him. having a go on a golf simulator mm. tonight. People don't know this is where you take real sticks, mm. ra- like real balls, yep. at a screen mm. that then tells you what would have happened yep. were you to be outside yep. <laughs> and actually playing the sport of golf. Golf. Furs would call them clubs. Real sticks. <laughs> with real lumps on the end. Whacking those tiny little white spheres that everyone's trying to whack in the hole. Don't take too many shots, though. Uh, otherwise, you don't get the big shiny cup. <laughs> hey, um, we will get to that in a second because there's something else I wanted to chat to you about and it really needs to come up. I know. Yeah, you, you've, thrown a, you've thrown an <laughs> interval in what we were going to play. Yeah. Because you know the napkin sensei better than I do. Yes, I do, Ando. Is that fair to say? Yes, he. Uh, this is the man, um, the wise man. Mm. Some say he's Japanese. We don't know what nationality he is. Mm. He runs our Napkin Ninjas, who are, of course, very, very wonderful listeners of this show that have mm. signed up to our napkin program, yep. where we send them 100 branded Hamish and Eddie napkins, mm. and they sneak them into restaurants and bars and cafes and stuff. And switch ours in for other restaurants. And so they've been Napkin Ninjas. In fact, Ham, Wikipedia, the napkin page. Please. It got, it's been ninjured, the page itself. Good. When you go to Wikipedia, uh, under the word napkin, a Hamish Nanny branded napkin is the show photo. Cyber ninjuring. Cyber ninjuring. Our That's first happening. hack. Hack, yep. Need, need to... On one level, I'm very proud, and on another, I say this, it's just the beginning. <laughs> I would not be surprised if, uh, again, when Hillary Clinton takes the White House, Ando, if she refuses to wear it, someone doesn't get her the Hamish Nanny tie in time. Yeah. You know the little... Um, pocket yeah. handkerchief yep. that people put in uh, their suit. So if she would probably wear a tuxedo, hmm. and I wouldn't be surprised if that little white hanky <laughs> was a home shanty napkin that someone sneaks in there. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> 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 if you told me that one of our serviettes was on the new president of America, I would say I expected that. <laughs> a lot of people mistake me for the napkin sensei. You're not, you're not but I, I, it's you weird because I, I, I got a CT scan the other day, which is something medical. I think it was whatever it was. I got a scan, a mm. medical scan, because I got to have some surgery mm. this weekend. As I was lying on the bed, it's one of those ones where the bed moves yep. and a big ring kind of goes over you and takes photos. As I'm lying there, the technician in the hospital, once I'm all gowned up, down, he's explained to me, don't move, this is what's going to happen. He then leans down and whispers, may I say it's an honour to have the napkin sensei <laughs> on, on my bed. And I said, okay, doc, just go I, back to I'm not him. <laughs> But I'll pass it on. It was like oh. in Fight Club where Meatloaf runs into <laughs> yeah, yeah. runs into Edward Norton and he's like, I love you, man. And Edward Norton's like, keep it down, man. Not outside of Fight Club. You just broke the number one rule. Yeah. Um, you don't mention Fight Club. You don't mention that consent. Say, Ham. Oh, you do. We do. do, do we, <laughs> we have. Talk to me. You know him best. What does he do? During the day? Yeah. What does the napkin sensei do? He eats. During the day, very, very carefully. Yeah. Because he would never spill food on his mouth or his clothes because that's one napkin he couldn't use. So, but what is his business responsibilities for the ninjas, et cetera? What do you mean? He just, he, 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 he the runs one? the admin. Yeah. Okay. He's big picture. He's big picture. So what, what, as part of the admin, what happened? He's a lot of thinking, <laughs> goes for walks. He's packaging them up, does he? Plots send, stuff. Send out the napkins, package them up. He signs the back mm-hmm. uh, of the, yeah, he's, he's, he oversees the packaging, sure. Mm. I yeah. mean, does, if you order something from Apple, yeah. was Steve Jobs packing everything? No. No. But he certainly, had his, he certainly was across it. I suppose that's where I wanted to get to because more and more people have been sending me in the packages. Mm-hmm. See anything problem there with the napkin sensei? Oh, mate, these are all over Instagram. Yep. I, l- I like these all the time. Yeah. Um, I've double tapped a ton of these. Yeah, yeah. people, yeah, it comes in the standard brown paper thing yeah. that's from the napkin sensei. That's with, not his signature. I know, but sensei's spelt wrong. You can't. You, it's difficult to get good help. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, that's, people get the gist. So, you, so is someone else writing the sensei? Is, is sensei around? I'd have Can to ask, ask him. Can I ask him? Uh, and uh, I'd have to ask him. <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <laughs> <laughs> we're being oh, fired. Right, I'll go downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go through the trap doors every day. Because apparently, because <laughs> apparently there's oh, two. <laughs> this, this. I'm just <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, sorry, I was asleep and also going for a walk. Napkin Sensei. Yes, Andy. Are you responsible for writing your name wrong on 200 parcels that went out? I will say this. A kestrel that flies through the night. Yeah. 
must sleep at some time, mm-hmm. but also walks occasionally. But does that mean that Kestrel will ever fly again? Say yes or no. <laughs> it's a slow burning riddle. Yeah, yeah. Think about it I'm... and get back to me in one year. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Oh, what happened was that the napkin sensei? What did he say? <laughs> it's very confusing and he was quite disappointing. Oh, he'll do that. Did he give you the Kestrel thing? It felt like a backpedal. <laughs> Didn't feel like he was just covering. Buying time, yeah. that's what How much like. time did he ask for? <laughs> he asked for a year. Classic sensei. <laughs> Hey, Michelle, we're driving you home. Our last week on air, two more shows to go after this, Ham. And then <clears throat> a just a small recoup mm. and back 25th of January next year. <laughs> very, very quick recoup. You're not even... <laughs> Not even going to notice it. <laughs> and then, quick as a wink, we're back exactly. on, back on air and just swinging again. So we're trying to tie up loose ends, Ham. Um, we were meant to shorten this opener before. Oh, I didn't just... do it. <laughs> it's too long, buddy. Here we go. The loose, the loose, the loose ends will tie up. That would do. Oh, it's shortened. Oh, oh, yes. It's shortened. Well done, Marshy. <laughs> yes. well, let's see, he doesn't miss anything. He does not miss a beat. Because yesterday I... they went on for a double and it, yeah. it bog- I felt like it bogged us down. <laughs> anyway, had the loose central type, one had come in, or well, many people had come in and said they hadn't heard from the napkin sensei yep. for a long, long time. Now, the napkin sensei, for people who don't know, we, uh, at the start, mm. um, you bought, you were using the joint account, a lot of merchandise, including 50,000 Hamish and Andy branded napkins. Very, very cheap two-ply branded napkins. Yep. No real plan of what to do with them no. until a mystical animal called the Napkin Sensei came along, Andy, and sent out packs of 100 napkins to people that registered as napkin ninjas earlier in the year. The goal was for these napkin ninjas to take their 100 napkins to restaurants, fast food outlets, service stations, whatever, cafes, replace that venue's napkins with our Hamish and Andy brand of napkins. It's a strategy called merchandising. It's a strategy called the Infiltrative marketing. Infiltrative marketing. Mm. It's very, very cutting edge. Mm. Now everyone's doing it. But back then it was <laughs> putting branded napkins in stores. We were the only guys in the game, Ando. The napkin sensei used to ring these guys, the ninjas that had registered. You hadn't reached out to them for a while. So what has the napkin sensei been up to? Well, I'm not the napkin sensei. No, but you know about him. Oh, sorry. I hadn't reached out to him. Yeah, I just came. I said, mate, have you been, you know, are you still running the napkin ninja ring? Yeah. And, and earlier today he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, funny you mentioned that name. I was just on my way in to call some ninjas just from a business perspective to sort of say, Merry Christmas, mm. thanks for your work this year, because he is the boss <laughs> of the Napkin Ninjas. Yeah. So the Napkin Sensei was actually just doing the cool kind of nice thing that often oh, high-level high CEOs do, mm. of just calling his employees. Hello? Brody. Uh, no. Brody? No. Not Brody? Not Brody. This is the Napkin Sensei. Napkin Center? <laughs> no, 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 Napkin Sensei. Napkin Sensei. Napkin Sensei. Oh, it's the Napkin Sensei. Hold on. I'm giving it. Hey. Hello? Is this Brody? Yes. Brody. <laughs> it, is this the Napkin Sensei? Yes, who was that? I thought it was a fake caller, so I gave it to my fiance. <laughs> yes, he thought I was something called the Napkin Centre. <laughs> but forgivable because I'm eating pancakes. <laughs> Do I might have mispronounced my name? Maybe. How are you? Um, good. Cool. Basically, just calling. I'm doing a ring around of the ninjas just to say. Merry Christmas. It's early, but Merry Christmas. A little bit early, yeah, because I'm just sort of closing up the office this week. So I just wanted to say thanks for all your honourable work. You're very welcome. It was my pleasure. Have you found me a pleasant boss? Um, yes and no. Oh, okay. <laughs> what are your main beefs? <laughs> well, this is the first time I've had contact. I am a fairly hands-off sensei. Yeah, yes. But I want you to know, I think of you daily, and I <laughs> no news has been good news. I've been so happy with your work. Brilliant. So I'll see you at the company picnic. See you then. Hello. John. Yeah. Do you know who this is? 
Oh, it's Napkin Sensei. Very good, John. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I have bad news, Napkin Sensei. What is it? Oh, Australia Post Sun has not delivered the package. You gotta be kidding me, John. <laughs> it has been many months. Yes. I have visited my target many times. <sighs> So apart from that logistical f up, how's things? Oh, very good. Just sort of doing the company ring around to give a personal message of good tidings to my ninjas. I, I, this is unexpected feedback. <laughs> this is very kind of you. I hope you have a very merry Christmas, Napkin Sensei. Have you found me to be a pleasant boss? Yes, Napkin Sensei. Good. I have found you to be a loyal and respectful employee. Who would keep quiet during times of non-napkin delivery? Which I appreciate it because you know the sensei has many things going on. Indeed. I'll get onto those. I'm going to send you a Christmas bonus of a hundred napkins, John. We're going to try and fix this. Strike well Thank across you. the Christmas holidays. Thank you, napkin sensei. Good boy. I'm flipping away. <laughs> oh, I've gone, John. Oh, good. <laughs> Good to tie that up. You created another though. You created another loose end. Send out the napkins with the napkin sense I did. And oh, yeah. do you think I really wouldn't make sure that John got those hundred napkins? I did see you when we just heard that back go, oh gosh, yes, I'd better get onto that and start <laughs> writing something down. I was writing down a shopping list for my wife. Oh yeah, what's on it? Stockings, <laughs> hats, <laughs> ribbons, <laughs> just things that women Shoes want. Shoes are plenty. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being with us today. HamishAnnie.com for anything you may have missed, uh, Ham, uh, <laughs> including your chance to get to our uh, night, yep. an evening uh, w- near Oprah. Which Don't say with. <laughs> one, an evening near Oprah, which happens on Friday in Adelaide, if you're there and get yourself there. We'll see you tomorrow, everyone. Have a good night. And uh, it is the last show of, our, of the year. Of course, we'll be back just before Australia Day mm. uh, next year, 2016. On, on Wednesday's show, the Napkin Sensei, mm-hmm. um, for people who don't know who this is, he resides over any napkin ninjas. We had 50,000 Hamish Nanny branded napkins made up. Mm-hmm. We sent them out in 100 napkin starter packs, and the idea was to napkin ninjas, whoever applied for them, would take those napkins into a restaurant or any place that has serviettes yep. and switch ours for theirs. Uh, we covered the globe. We mm. napkin ninjed, we napkin ninjed a uh, cafe outside Buckingham Palace. So yep. it essentially went all the way to the top. Many, many, many hundreds of stores were hit across Australia. We got rid of pretty much all 50,000 napkins. napkins. We heard from the Napkin Sensei on Wednesday where he was doing some ring arounds from Christmas cheers to his ninjas, but I, apparently we cut him short. There was well, still a he, few more calls that he'd made. He still had a lot of staff he needs to get to because he is a very down to earth. He's a sensei of the people and he's just like any good boss at this time of year, yeah. needs to call his workers and, um, you know, make awkward small talk about Christmas. Hello? Sure. Hey, who's this? Who do you think this is, Sean? Um, oh, the voice sounds familiar. It's your goddamn boss, boy. Hey, Napkin Sensei, how are you? Very good, Sean. I hope I haven't caught you in the middle of ninjuring. No, you haven't, you haven't. What did you need, my sensei? Just basically a festive call, calling around the company, saying hi from the boss. Oh, thank you. Saying I hope you have a sensational Christmas. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. Wonderful. How is everything? Yeah, good, good. I've got some napkins, hoping to dish them out at a few Christmas parties. Very good, boy. How's the fam? Good, good. Great. And still keeping fit? Oh, yeah, 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 we are, you know, ninjas, you got to be fit. Yeah, you got to do your best. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. Anyway, I'll let you go then. Yeah, yeah, no, thank you, Napkin Sensei. No, thank you, thank no, you. No, good to catch up. <laughs> Sorry I didn't good. see you at the Christmas party. No, that's so. Hey, you wouldn't see me. I'm a ninja. Come on. <laughs> Come on. There was over 1,000 people in that room. I saw no one. <laughs> okay, take it easy. Hey, Mish. Oh, I mean, Napkin Sensei. Fuck, <laughs> damn it. It happens. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Merry Christmas. You too, bye. See ya. Good kid. Hello, Louise speaking. 
Louise. Is this the napkin sensei? Ah, you make it too Louise for me. <laughs> oh, sensei, it's so wonderful to talk to you. Ah, well, a good boss should always talk to his troops regularly. I'm so glad to hear from you. I've been waiting patiently by my phone. I sense that. I have watched you in a professional way, and I thought it was time to just give you a bit of a Christmas call and say, great job this year, babe. Thank you so much, Napkin Sensei. I've been working so hard. I know. It's so great to be appreciated. And I know we have a sort of a non-traditional company, but I hope you always had a good communication chain through your regional and state managers? Oh, always. Good. Always, Sensei. Next year we will work on efficiency and profitability. <laughs> I'm just looking at the figures. Made no money as a business. Oh, that's, that's a poor business model, but we can work on it next year. Sensei says business is not how much money you bring in. But how much napkin you dish out? Oh, such wise words. I know, it's from me. Anyway, so just pretty much going to see how you are. Yeah, thanks. And how's everything on a personal front? Yeah, really, really good, thanks. Great. Yeah. Are you still awesome. with, um... Oh, God, I'm blanking. Who is your partner again? Jake. Jake, still with Jake? Yeah, 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 always. Oh, We're great. doing really well. Oh, great. I'm so proud. Great. Oh, Say hi to him for me. I will, I will, Sensei. And Beatrice passes on her best to you. Oh, fabulous. Good to catch up. Good to you too. I'm slinking away. Okay. Night night. Goodbye, Sensei. <laughs> Little sneaky Sensei nap. <laughs> bye bye.